see, to tell you to tell, have I got a savings for you on this St. Patrick's Day. Not only is the rag company bringing back mystery bags, but we have another little uh, special trick up our sleeves. That's right, we are coming out with a limited edition product from our friends at PNS called Shamrock Shine. You can pick it up here, and it's only available here at the Rag Company. Now, for those of you picking up a mystery bag, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with just how much luck is gonna be in each one of those bags. And we got some new swag. So head on over to the Rag Company and pick up these items before the rainbow disappears. Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another Q&A Thursday, of course, on a Thursday, here at the Rag Company, with your hosts, Dane Hennen, Levi Gates, and Anthony Fisher. Thanks, Thanks for Dane. having me, Dane. It's a little bit green today. I like it. It Feels is green. Vibe. Yeah, tomorrow St. Patrick's Day. Huh. As many of you know, pretty much national holiday. Yeah. 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 We're going to be taking the day off, enjoying You're, ourselves. Oh, really? We are not taking the I day off. I must have missed oh, that memory. Yeah. Oh, we are absolutely okay. coming to work tomorrow. Okay. Um, Shoot. However, we can probably swing a deal where we can try to get some corned beef and cabbage, maybe mm. a few Guinnesses, right? Yeah, I like it. Throw okay. down a little bit of Baileys, right? Just to mix things mm. up. Put yeah. my Baileys in my Guinness, right? Okay. Well, that's that's what do you an think? Irish car bomb. That is that. That is exactly. We could what just wake that, up with some. I don't know if you could drink those at hey. work. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, you got You're options. Right. But speaking of options, housekeeping. What's going on? This is like well, it's the last day the of last the day of the sale, sale right? Really, so, uh, realistically, it, it ends tomorrow. Technically, yeah. we have tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, it ends tomorrow. But I'm if you're listening to, to it today on Friday. If you're listening to this the next day, yeah. or if you're listening to it live, like all the folks <laughs> in the studio are right now, yeah. uh, mystery bag sale going on now, and this is your chance to pick up a limited edition sticker, limited edition Shamrock Shine Quick Detailer, limited edition T-shirt, mm. limited edition mystery bags. Ooh. Yeah. All it's those things. insane. And the stickers uh, are bigger than usual. I got to point that it out. It is a bigger sticker. Roughly double the size of a normal sticker. So It's a, it's a hefty one. If you guys haven't picked one up yet, I highly recommend it because, again, the sale is going to end tomorrow night. It's gone forever. Shamrock Shine is gone, I think, maybe forever. Once it's all sold out, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see once it's sold out. Uh, but, yeah, check it out. Go to theragcompany.com. Pick up some detailing products. But I think that's really all we got. We're going to be doing is. some more shooting tomorrow, yep. yeah. uh, some more filming for TRCMA because TRCMA is also <laughs> on its way. So, Nick, we can go so ahead and close. pull that up oh. here. Yes, we have Back to TRCMA. 2023 coming April 3rd through the 6th. It's going to be an insane event full of all of our favorite people from the Rag Company, PNS Products, PNS Products, Color Lock, Yellow Tools, Rupes, Detailers Helper, Buff Bright, Rotofest, Solution Finish, Optimal Polymer Technologies, Buff and Shine, Diamond Protect, Starter Gloss, Lake Country, G Technic, LC Power Tools, G Technic Marine, IK Sprayers, Rap Institute, Coach Can Be Viper Chair, Detailing Wise, Velocity, Auto Wash, Detailers, Business Academy, and Flex. Okay, there's a lot of people there. There's a lot of possibly more. So it's a crowd, man. It's a crowd. It's, my mouth got dry yeah. just by just screaming through all those names. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw one of the icons there. Tina Tina Tool. Leprechaun Levi. Uh, so, uh, hilarious. So it's hilarious. going to be close to a full week full of detailing knowledge and entertainment yes. mm -hmm. and the latest and greatest going on within the detailing industry being broadcasted live from the Rag Company YouTube channel. Now, as we get closer to the event, you guys might want to start asking for time off. You might want to start letting Ooh. significant others know that this event is coming up and you need to not be disturbed, right? Mm -hmm. This is your private time to be able to listen in. However, if mm. they're not willing to give you your private time or they say maybe you already have enough private time at night, Maybe this is another option. You can stream it at any time you'd like That's right. yeah. after the show ends. And yeah. We're going to be doing some recap videos of everything so it's easily categorized so you can find exactly the information you're looking for. But realistically, what we're asking watch. for is you to take the entire week off, mm -hmm. yes. watch us live, be <laughs> present for all eight hours. Yes. Teensy tiny request. It's yeah. a small request, but we, we think you're going to benefit. We're also happily willing to be able to take, if you can just open us up in your yeah, just leave browser, browser window. Even if it's like, hey. Or your phone. Maybe you yeah. leave for work. Yeah. In the morning, you know, sometimes people leave a radio on for their animals. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. put on the Red Company YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. 
and just start to stream and let it just play. And let if you come go. home and discover that your cat has learned how to buff on your car, yeah, man, hey, that is benefit. Amazing. What's the worst thing that can happen? Right, 100%. Well, am I right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, Rag Company Media Access, it's coming quick. We have literally 11 working days left until this show starts, which yeah. is crazy to think about. <laughs> we have a lot of people coming into town, staying at the home to suites, where it's got the beautiful downtown vibes of Boise, the beautiful view of Trader Joe's, <laughs> as well as <laughs> That's unless you're on the, the other building. side, the north side of the, the building, side gets the you get a beautiful mountain view. <laughs> mountain yeah. view and then um, you are just a quick walk away from the famous chip cookies, oh. where they serve warm palm-sized cookies. And a gallon of milk. And a gallon of milk that you guys can pick up at any time. And then we also have a plethora of just awesome bars that are along the strip there that I grew up with in my early 20s, right? Everything from, uh, let's just say you want to go ride a bull, right? Dirty Little Roddy's. Go down to Dirty Little Roddy's, right? Maybe you want to, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe you want to go to the meat market. Meet some middle aged women, right? Hump and Hannah's, right? That's a base. It's literally the name of the place. Um, Are you a fan of wood paneling? The whiskey bar. The whiskey bar, right? Let's just say. (laughs) Maybe like video games. Games, you, lost your, games. you lost your credit card, Space right? Bar's coming you back just have some week. cash right. on you, right? Where are you Bigger going? And better. You're going to Cactus, right? Because yeah. it's a cash only bar. Yep. There's a lot of cool different things that you can do during the week of TRCMA. I'm excited to show everybody around all while riding Bird scooters. So yeah. today's QA is brought to lift. you by Bird Ooh, Lift. Nice. Oh, I'm just but not actually. <laughs> Download the app and uh, don't get a discount from us. <laughs> no. Yeah. But um, there are Next scooters run. everywhere. And then what I think I'm going to do is I think on some of those nights, I think we might go hit up a bar we're going to grab some bird scooters and i'm going to go show people the capital right Ooh. and i'm going to say this right here ladies and gentlemen is the state capital and give them some of boise's history yeah i like Hopefully it Hopefully, levi's like there it. to correct yeah. me i Just love let it him ring the bell and then run away <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> so to the scooters <laughs> on uh, that note the other thing yeah yes Podcasting again tonight. Mm, Live are. podcast. Okay. There you go. Doing an Inside the Industry podcast, yeah, uh, me and Christine, guy. with Ivan LaCroix oh this my time. Oh, gosh. Wow. So Ivan's going to be uh, popping on he and all these uh, big hitters. joining us. You and now you got Ivan? Yeah, pretty crazy. So it seems like Christine knows what she's doing. She then. knows what she's doing. She's been she producing this whole show. It's great. So me and Ivan are going to hop on there. Uh, she's got a couple new episodes. She's got a new episode out where I actually interviewed her. Oh. And yeah. then on top of that, she's got a couple more interviews coming out in the pipeline okay. for her uh, dames and detailing. So wow. make sure you guys nice. check it out on the Detailer Pretty Chick. Uh, we're going to be going live at amazing. 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's 7 like p.m. the Avengers of detailing. Hopefully. That'd be a lot cooler if it was. <laughs> yeah, so it would. So uh, with check that us out. said, let's go ahead and let's get this green stream started. What right? better way to start than a with green our stream. very own Dan Pfeiffer? Good it. afternoon, and a word up from cold, gray, rainy, snowy Minnesota, USA. I just mm. got back from a week in Florida and a visit to the OGHQ, and nice. I already missed the sun. Happy Friday Eve. Let's get out. The pot of gold and party. <laughs> Very nice. My Welcome. kids are in the process of building leprechaun traps. Oh. Yeah. Augie said, I need to spray paint one so that he doesn't, under, doesn't, doesn't get sidetracked. What color is he spray painting? Uh, probably it? green, okay. but I think I threw away all the green spray paint. Well, oh. hopefully he does it next to one of your vehicles. I was going to say, it's going to wind up as overspray on one so of your cars. Oh, it will. He's going yeah, to go use it out on the... <clears throat> on the right. he'll, he put it on the hood of the red truck and spray paint. It's probably yeah. That or winds up on a cat or a dog. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah likelihood. Yeah. Um, yeah. So next up, we got Umberto saying hello, TRC up, team. Umberto? Welcome, sir. What's going on? Alex saying happy Friday Eve, TRC. Great yes. work by the crew in yesterday's live. An amazing <laughs> show. Oh, thanks, Thank you, buddy. Alex. <laughs> Appreciate you. Then we got Dino here saying, good afternoon, boys. What's up? Dino, how are you, man? Hey, How's hey. How's it going? And then we already had this, but I had and to pop it up too too good. And then David Cervantes saying, what's up, everybody? What's up, David? And Dino asking if we're starting early. And Dane saying, nope, same time as normal. Same time as normal. And then Glossy Bear saying, I'm grabbing a sparkling water and a flosser before the show starts. Nice. You guys got a lot of people hooked. So, ladies and gentlemen, I received my tongue scraper yesterday. Yeah. I busted it out of that package mm. this morning. I what's, told what's the Anthony brand that you went with. I got the gum. It's the gum. G U M. Okay. What kind of features okay. is this? So this is have? a double-sided scraper with two layers of scrapability. Okay. I like so that. it's got a, a primer and a secondary, okay. a leading and a trailing edge, okay. Okay. if you will, on either end. Squeegee So style? one side's brushes. Okay. Oh, okay. Other side is just the scraper. Okay. Mm. So did my uh, brushing this morning. Mm-hmm. Okay. Took my tongue scraper, yeah. stuck it in there, give it a quick, give brush. it a good brush to break up some of the particles mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Then rinsed it out, flipped it over, 
stuck the scraper in, went far back a couple times, yeah. hit my gag reflex a couple times, yeah. but I scraped all that gunk off my tongue. Yeah. And let me tell you, it was disgusting. Yeah. It sounds disgusting. But did you not but feel cleansed? I felt pure. Oh, my God. <laughs> I That's felt as if I for. had yeah. swam oh, in the man. water, the living waters of Mandalore. Wow. Oof. That... That's and that I was redeemed gift. Yeah. when I came came out. Yeah, insane. <laughs> and it was truly a rebirth. Yeah. Um, some some would call it a spiritual experience. Yeah. Wow. Um, the Listerine hit hard, 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 hit hard right on the tongue when I, know, I, <laughs> I know. washed my mouth out. I was like, holy you crap! You unlocked a new layer of yeah. sensitivity. There you it's go. It's pretty impressive. I know. Imagine, and I will say, my Diet Pepsi tasted sweeter than it ever has. Oh, wow. absolutely, one hundred percent. Like that's why I'm saying a tongue scraper will change your life. Everybody that's watching this right now, you have to have one. Like, it's not like a matter of, it's, it's, I put it at the same level of a toothbrush. You have to have a toothbrush, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to have a tongue scraper. I'm excited for you to start teaching your child the benefits of a tongue scraper. I absolutely like a detailing. Because no, right I'll now I'm having a own. hard time teaching my boy to brush his teeth. Yeah. Because he misses stuff. Mm. And I you go, say, do you want there's your a lot food, of junk do you, in do you, there. Do you, want that, do you want that sweet? Do you want those now and laters to taste even sweeter? Yeah. yeah. Do you want them to taste like the best now and later you've ever had? Yeah. And you got to scrape your tongue. You got to scrape your tongue. And he goes, I don't want to do it. And you, and you tell him, just do it. Just trust try, me. Try and he it does once. it. He tries it. And then he say, now eat this oh now and later. And he God. goes, oh, my God, it's even better. And I go, yeah. yep. But don't scrape like every time. You know, like, yeah, <laughs> He's once like, pretty soon it'll be blue. <laughs> so anyway, uh, get a tongue scraper. Uh, and the, there's no links below. But just search it. So Amazon. good things taste better. Why have you not added worse? that? But don't don't get a metal tongue scraper though. No, I, there's yep. a lot of metal ones on don't there. You got a plastic one. Yikes. You got to go. You got to go plastic. You got like a rubberized one. There's mine's no a, need to do a metal one. Mine's an oral B. It's like a double banded rubber yeah. one, and I just I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. So Daniel, Dane's gonna pick up his. Glenn yes, Dennis saying good afternoon, everybody. Yes, sir, hello. Harry Housewife saying, hey, guys, won't oh. be on tonight. Unfortunately, oh. very under the weather and can barely keep myself awake. We'll catch up when I'm feeling out. Much love, guys. Feel better, and all those watching, like, subscribe, these guys, and share. Darren, feel better, man. Thank you, Darren. Yeah, feel better, man. Thank you. Keith saying, a happy St. Patrick's Day Eve from Ireland. Hey, oh, we got a live nice. one. Thank <laughs> you, Keith. Appreciate <laughs> hey, it. Hey. Always good to have a have a fellow Irishman in the house. Yes. <laughs> what percentage are you, uh, 33%. That's, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a whole third, right? Fun, that's pretty fun good. Fun fact. It's pretty good. Fun fact, my family actually, I still have years in Boise. family in Ireland. Mm. Real like that's just crazy. The, the roots that your family has back. Yeah. Well, yeah. there's that potato available. Connection. Yeah. So yeah, well, yeah. It's good stuff. That was amazing. We'll have to visit them someday. What do you think? Uh, it, the, we used to own a bar in Roskree, hmm. and uh, my cousins used to go over and work there on the summers, and that was one of my summers that I wanted to do it. And then my uncle sold it by the time I had gotten all my money saved up. Oh, I just um, can't help but feel like our trip to Ireland would be very much like the gang's trip to Ireland mm-hmm. from It's Always Sunny. Yeah. <laughs> like you would be in search of your Irish heritage mm-hmm. and then you would pretty yeah. much come to find out that you're not Irish. <laughs> yeah, Dane would find some form of, uh, of a castle yeah. or a state to, to sleep in Yeah, um, just to and get the feel of it. And, I'd probably and you'd also crazy. be there with him and maybe go a little crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. So JD obviously saying what's up TRC and then a mysterious L. At That's the for end. me. Oh, Levi. oh, yeah. it's just for what's Levi. Up, man? TRC, TRC Levi. Levi. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cervantes saying get well soon, Darren, oh, and good. Wild Ride saying woohoo, good evening from Nova Scotia, Canada. Ooh, fun. What's up, man? How are Still you? Still chilly up there. Fred Shamrock saying what's up, everybody. Hey, hey. And then uh, he's saying hello to everybody again. Yes, and we're on two page. Three, Everybody's saying hello and yep. hello, Darren. And then JD, TV. quick question. When storing absolute in a bucket, do you guys use a gamma seal lid? I just throw a microfiber on top of the bucket, and I notice the scent gets a year- weird when I use a gamma lid. Yeah, so um, gamma seals, the reason I – so I like gamma seals when I have to transport liquid. If mm-hmm. I don't have to transport it, I don't ever close it up. I don't ever use it. It's just so it I do spell. what you do. I throw a towel over it because I need that still to breathe a little bit, and when you seal it up – that's what starts to get smoked. I rest my gamma seal lid at an angle. Yeah. So I set it on top to of the keep bucket. keep the dust and dirt just, from landing yeah, in just or kinda bugs. Kind of like you can still breathe, but it's just at an angle. You yeah. can twist but also the initial seal there and leave it loose. No, just, yeah, just no, set, I just it, on set there. it on there. Yeah. I just yeah. set it on there. Yeah. Uh, we have Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Says, hello, hello. What's uh, up, everyone? In hey, tears. Hey. 
He's in tears already. We haven't even oh, made wow. a joke yet, and he's in Gosh. tears. Gosh, okay. <laughs> uh, Larry Singleton <laughs> says, greetings, happy Friday Eve. Hey, and then hey. we have, uh, sup y'all from Joey Belinsky. Mm-hmm. What's up, Joey? The man, the myth, the and legend. The Jack, the Jack Reacher-sized yeah. man. Yeah. The yeah. Jack Reacher of the group, of, Jack, the, of, the, yes. of the chat. Yes, he is. This Joey just says, yes. Mm-hmm. Good band. Like that band. Franco saying, hey, yo, Joey Belinsky. And right. then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joey laughing. Dino yeah. saying, I see 23 people not hitting that like button. Come well, on, guys and girls. Yeah, if you're in the chat, please hit that like button yeah. for us. 100%. No, it's more like 67. But Mike yeah. C saying, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Sorry I haven't been around much. Always tuning in, though. Hope all is well. I hope Thanks, so, Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. And then Dan Pfeiffer saying, I store my red and black sponges in O&R. We're not using it, but they seem to feel a bit sticky gummy after a while. Any thoughts? Hmm. Uh, you can rinse them out if you want, man, and let them dry beforehand. Or I mean, you don't have to always store them in the O&R. Yeah, you, you would. Well, the, the, red, red, one, the red one, red, yes. Red one, the red one, the red one, the black one. The red one starts to no. kind of get, it's just odd. Yeah. yeah. That's all. So. Joey Belinsky says, my teammates in Ireland were already a little rowdy when I started to work this morning. <laughs> I bet. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're yeah, just... They're, getting, uh, they're pre-gaming. Yeah. They're I, starting early. I imagine. I don't know. I wonder, what is what is St. Paddy's Day like in Ireland? It's a national holiday. Okay. I, 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 <laughs> there's I parades. That, there's so parades. Like what, to what extent? I mean, is this like is this like it? Is it like it's like green, parades, is there green parties, fireworks? hanging out? Do you ever watch the news in the morning when they go to Ireland for St. Patrick's Day? No, it's like I don't, full I don't on celebrations and stuff. Usually, like, the news just points at a river and says, "Hey, they made a green today." <laughs> and that that happens in Chicago. So, um, <laughs> but I mean, like my but like the Today Show used to always go to Ireland. Okay, and they'd be there, and like the president of Ireland. Give himself, give a speech, and talk about you know everything for the for the world. Yeah. Do you, you have know, any type parades. of heritage, Irish heritage, like traditions? Thirty-three percent Irish. Well, I know, <laughs> but do you have any traditions? Oh no, like uh, corned beef and cabbage. No, I'm not. i not. I don't like corned beef and cabbage. But um, but we my here's my thing. Anyway. So uh, I we've always celebrated St. Patrick's Day in my house. Okay. okay. Um, when I had my shop, I flew an Irish flag mm-hmm. on the day. Matt and I used to start the morning off. We'd go get ourselves some breakfast mm. together. Corn uh, beef and eggs? Just go eat breakfast <laughs> together. We'd make it a celebration. Green eggs and We're just going to go eat breakfast. Go have breakfast. Any, make it an potatoes, easy day. Anything like... What would you no, eat? we'd make it just an easy day. We'd just enjoy the day together. We'd get some it's Irish soda just, bread. It sounds like it just. This sounds like it's every other day, day that you would have had. We would Matt. be like, we would get Irish soda bread. Okay. And we'd get some, we'd get some honey butter. Okay. okay. And we just sit and enjoy that and eat that throughout the day. Then maybe we go get lunch somewhere, yeah. maybe an Irish pub. Okay. We'd track down where the bagpipers, the Boise Highlanders were playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'd go have lunch at wherever they were playing. Sometimes they'd be at the Crescent Bar. Sometimes they'd be at another restaurant. We'd go have lunch there. Okay. Matt would have a Guinness. I'd have a tall Diet Pepsi. We'd listen to the bagpipes, eat some food, meet up with the old man, his dad, maybe my dad. we all go out, just enjoy, you know. A couple pints yeah. of the black stuff. Okay. Right? For mm-hmm. me, it was Diet Pepsi. For Matt, it's Guinness. Yep. And, uh, and then we go back to work and hang out, finish out the day early. Or many times, Matt would take that day off because oh, he spends okay. the day cooking, creating a delicious Irish feast for his family. And that's where the corned beef and now, cabbage comes in. But corned beef and cabbage is just a food. It's just a normal food. It's, not it's, anything. it's like a very specific You could eat that on a, you could eat that, food. You could eat that on a Tuesday night. Y- He's saying that, but he had the normal breakfast. So the whole I'd thing. I have myself is a, you know, you go look for a shepherd, good shepherd's pie. Uh, That's a normal thing too. <laughs> yeah, but it's the same as corned beef. And you're just eating another Irish delicacy. Hmm. All so, I'm saying is, it's just so a then, little more time. Then I'd this. come home. <laughs> yeah. And back in the day, Carly and I used to go find the bagpipers. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. And we'd go find a pub. We go have dinner, watch the pipers play. That's just something that we liked doing. Yeah. And then uh, we'd usually, it was a warm day mm-hmm. in Boise. So it was a, a chance to get the bikes out, go ride the bikes to dinner somewhere, catch that before we had kids. Then when we had kids, it was about bringing the kids to that because Hadley's birthday is in two days. Okay. So mm-hmm. Hadley was, I, I say that Hadley was waiting for the pipes. She had to hear the pipes before she could come out. Your accent was starting to cut through. See how that worked out there? You see how that worked out? The pipes. So because <clears throat> that, that, Day we went to the, we went to the Bitter Creek Ale House. Yeah, listen See, to that's the, a good listen choice. to the Pipers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ate a delicious dinner. Next day, Carly spent the whole day in labor, 
And oh, the next boy. morning, Hadley was born in sa- on that Saturday. It was meant to be. And so I was like, Question. the pipes sent her into labor. And so we're wow. going to have a great evening. Okay. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy my St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. It's normal. Last year, we watched uh, Dropkick Murphys was st- has streamed a uh, concert the That's last right, three that. years. Yeah. Play that on the on the TV for the kids. I'm assuming Floggy Molly does something similar. Yeah, they do too. Uh, I used to when I worked clubs. Uh, when I worked at the Name Factory, we'd have uh, a number of Irish bands that would play, yeah. and I'd work those shows. So sure. I've always enjoyed St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Question though, and this is just uh, for the viewers yeah. out there too. I I always thought of. I realize they both do it, but bagpipes I always saw as more of a Scottish thing than an Irish thing. But at the same time. To each their own, perhaps. I don't They're know. Both throwing I, it out they, to you. They both like there's, <laughs> there's Scottish pipes and there's Irish pipes. Sure, that's how it goes. All right, um, so we got D. Taylor Chick saying hello. All we're still in the hello. Yeah, here. Christine saying hello. Come check us side. out in, on uh, Christine's <laughs> channel tonight. Uh, yes, sir. Come listen to the show. Tyler Graff saying happy Friday Eve, TRC crew. Help me get through this painful inventory, Tyler. We're on our way. <laughs> Whew, working here. on it. Fazal says, whoa, whoa, just got an email that my mystery bag. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Fazal, that's awesome, man. You'll get to find out what the mystery is soon enough. Yeah. Franco says, detailer Chuck. Yo, I missed your show last night. Had no idea. I think he meant Ed detailer Chick. Detailer Chick, <laughs> yeah. Go back and watch it, Franco. Make sure yeah. you give it a like. Alex Duar is Levi is a whopping 33% Irish. The most of anyone on the property. He <laughs> deserves a paid day off. That's what I think. Wow. I actually think I'm wow. more Irish than either of you. You sure oh, you about absolutely that? are more Irish than me. I'm Portuguese. I mean, they, uh, I mean, more than him, sure, but uh, I think I might be up. Yeah, there. like your like with like your mom's got a maiden name that's mostly Irish. It's McElhenney. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, oh, I'm up there. Yeah, it's pretty Irish. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty, pretty I'm up Irish. There. <laughs> All right, we got David here. David popping in saying, what's up, guys? I finally made it to the bougie photo spot known as an unused Amazon oh. warehouse. Didn't bring a clean vehicle, though. Dang. Oh. So you're halfway oh. there. Well, So apparently, according to David Cervantes, uh, there are Amazon warehouses scattered across this country that are all unused. And Whoa. will oh. continue to be unused, right, until the time comes for them to be needed. Which is why there's that one in Meridian that yeah. I found that I was like, dang. So this is just a whole thing that they're just going to let sit here. Great for photos. Probably some of the best photos because they keep the lights on at night. Mm-hmm. The vibes are good. Big open space. The scale of it is what helps the photos seem really the scale. cool. So you just the get scale. this really so big expanse. Find an abandoned Amazon warehouse near you. Yeah, Go take move some in. photos of a clean ride, right? Yeah. You never know. Park a okay. trailer there. <laughs> Dino wants to know, uh, is Dane going to hand wash his new Jag on the next life? Oh, my gosh. See, they don't ever what if want we me flip to have this... my cars in any of We were videos, talking about so... this. We don't know what our next live is. What <sighs> if we just flip the script and have Dane wash his car and yeah. you and I are in here and asking questions? And I'll literally questions. just do everything wrong and you guys will constantly oh, be correcting no, me? You no, you've got the whole bay to yourself. You Dane. pick all the products you want to do. I know how to do it, but I think it'd be more you fun if I keep screwing up and you're no, educating me no, on how you to just, do it right. You just so enjoy it. Enjoy the process. Learn. I want you to be relaxed. Yeah. It'll be like a satisfied Saturday. I'll do the process. We're in here, and we just put a camera it. on Dane with some nice me- – every time we go back to him, it's just playing music. <laughs> just Dane put doesn't a GoPro even need to on my talk. head in the streaming mode, and we'll be yeah, good. Dane yeah. doesn't even need to talk. It's just you yeah. and I doing the Q&A, basically. And Dane wash. Let's check in on Dane and see how he's doing. Starting from the – Bottom, and he's going now. He's going to the top. Okay, yeah, that's sort of from the bottom. Now Why does he have five buckets? Yeah, who Don't knows? Question my uh, methods. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a fun show. That could be a fun show. Oh, Are those portholes he's putting on the side? Those well, engine portholes covers? Yeah, it took a lot of glue to yeah. get the stick, guys. <laughs> no, a great idea, Dino. And Jeff C, did you see that Auto Geek vid with Justin Lobato and Dr. G about the 20 uses of O&R? Hmm. Dr. G was suggesting high concentrations for many uses like glass and interior cleaning. Thoughts? Is that why so many people have been asking Probably. about Probably. I have not <laughs> seen that. That is a high con- Six to... Wow. We've six always to stuck to the 256 to 1, except in extremely rare scenarios. It yeah. was never really necessary ounces. to go beyond that. To a gallon. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's, um, that's pretty extreme. Yeah, we'll I don't know. Check it out. I don't know. We'll, we'll have check to, it out. We'll I mean, if Dr. G says it, I'm inclined to believe in specific instances he's tried it, it's worked. Yep. But I just don't know if it's going to be the same for everybody. Yep. Uh, Christine saying that my show was not live last night. Be sure to stop by tonight mm. to catch the live inside the industry with Levi and myself. All yeah, right. it was a pre recorded. Moving along. Uh, he says, nice. Then we got a bunch of hellos, including Ronnie Yacht saying, hello, hello, hello. Hello. And David again. If your significant other prevents you from watching TRCMA, 
it's time to reconsider the relationship. Uh, yep. I, mm-hmm. I, I 100%. agree. There you go. Yep. <laughs> wow, we're already on to page two. Gosh, we're flying through these things. Ooh. It's just a bunch of people talking. All right, here we Joey go. Joey says he's so jealous that he can't experience all these bars. Well, Joey, if you find some time to come out here, you're welcome yeah. to hang out. Any time of year you want to stop by, we'll we'll hang out. It's cool. Yep. Alex Dewar says, I'll be streaming TRCMA from the back of Dane's Flex <laughs> with biscuits and gravy from Express Cafe. Don't worry, those back seats uh, are heated. You'll love it. Yep. And then, uh, <laughs> How funny would that actually be? That, like, <laughs> Alex goes and gets... Uh, Express Cafe, right? Yeah. Brings it and it's does, a long and, and, drive and, for it, Express Cafe in the morning. But it could be worth it, right? Because you know he comes back with those homemade. Well, donuts if he stays at your place one night, so it won't good. be that hard. Yeah. Well, if he stays night with Dane, is no, what with you, because Dane's on the other end of town. That's right. Oh, that's You're true. in Meridian. I'm yeah. no longer in Meridian. Oh, yeah. But I do like every other weekend go out of my way to drive all the way there just to get some. Well, express. I will say if that mm-hmm. shed somehow miraculously happens <laughs> before TRCMA. You just throw a cotton right? and you're like, here you that go, Alex. 10 by 12, that right. could be a new rental spot, right? Could be. You know, Airbnb it. I lay down some carpeting in there, throw up a cot, right? And I'm, the yeah. thing is, is I, I wouldn't sleep in a shed without I was a say, toilet, I'm sure it's right? nice, but home so to suites, you go for my, that. You uh, my, my MSU. Nice. My, my yeah. mobile solution package mm-hmm. like for, uh, for that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, David also wins. And then Alex saying, for those visiting the whiskey bar... I strongly encourage you to get a tetanus shot at the infamous back door of BSU prior to consuming adult beverages. I am a fresh <laughs> with a tetanus booster. Way to go. Yeah. So I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> you are. You're ready to touch I'm all gonna, the rusty I'm ready things. to step on all kinds of nails. Uh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm uh, good with Glossy Bear saying those <laughs> chip cookies are like a pot of gold. They, they really are. are. They really are, Glossy Bear. <laughs> you know it, man. There's just nothing like, you know, what I like to do to test those cookies first huh. I need to test how warm they are, so I oh. stick my finger right in the middle of like one. Like a pie. Like a pie. I yeah. stick it in, and They're I They're basically go, a pie. They're so big. I check how doughy it is, right? And I like it when it is doughy, but sometimes you get it. Sometimes, like, I'll get some delivered. I think it's got enough to do with, like, a fried crunch almost. You want, yeah. you want an initial, like, light crunch exterior, but very soft in the middle. So you fun fact, guys, you, nice too, can order fluffy. chipcookies.co mm. and I have it delivered to your house. I know, but it's not the but same. But you can you can also order the the dough oh. and have it if shipped you made it yourself. I don't know to your house. I don't know how they're structurally making these cookies so big. I don't know how they taste either, if but you make them maybe they have home, exp- so. maybe they tell maybe it's got directions. I have no idea. JD Garage we'll saying the out. wife has an expensive bag and it's white leather. Unfortunately, she got some dye from a pair of pants she was wearing. Any idea how I can remove this blue dye stain from the white leather? Thanks. JD, so we've got a couple products. You can go grab the leather care kit from uh, Color Lock uh, on our website. It's got a uh, mild leather cleaner um, and a sealant. Uh, if you want, you can bump up to the strong leather cleaner to remove that. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, mild leather cleaner gets it, but if it's in many cases, if the dye is too deep, uh, you want to go with strong. Now, if you've used both those products, the mild and the strong leather cleaner, and it's still on the surface, we have denim stain remover as well. Hmm. And it is a dye stain remover um, that, again, is very... From G4 jeans. It's, it's basically to remove that stuff, but you've got to be careful because it can remove the rest of the dye. So it's, a, it's not a product to use unless you've already used those two. It's yeah. kind of a last resort, Test so to speak. Too. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, so we have Frank that says, I'm having a seven, <laughs> a classic seven-course Irish dinner, six-pack, and a potato. Very nice. Very nice. Very that nice. sounds pretty good mm-hmm. as well. All right. Uh, Glossy Bear says, I bet Shamrock Shine smells like Hump and Hannah's. No. No, no. It smells way better. <laughs> oh, than Hump and Hannah's Hanna smells Hanna's. like the 90s. Hump and yeah. Hannah's does smell like the '90s. It smells a lot like a lot like dust. Yeah, just, yeah. There's definitely shitty just, dust. They dust. have a whole bunch of random objects and, and just like it's like a museum in there. Well, it's almost. like a hundred and thirty like year old building. Yeah, too. but like all of the the little decor items are probably a little dusty, but they're yeah, like they're random up high cool too. things. And yeah, they're hung up where nobody's going to be. Well, and also, regularly. I mean, another big thing is, has anybody ever been in that building during the day? No, me either. one time. What? How'd you get in there? I just got asked to come in. They were doing so. It wasn't like on yet, but somebody was just like, hey, can we stop by? Because they had we to drop to something off. Some they, I thought they don't else. even open during the day. No, it was just I happen to know somebody who worked there. And they're like, I just need to pick up a thing for whatever. And they just yeah. I used by. to detail the owner yeah. of Hump and Hannah's car. Yeah. And I showed up one day to drop off his car. Okay. And But I went around the back. Yeah. And parked it there. And then he came out 
and he's like, oh, we're just setting up. He also owns Mai Tai and yeah, one right. other restaurant. Mm-hmm. So his name's Glenn. He's many of those before. places on it's that a strip fun of place, bars though. you'll never see during the day in your yeah. entire life. Yeah, no. It's only at night, and you always wonder to yourself, like, what's this place look like? Yeah, With he was one of those. It's dudes. weird seeing daylight out the front window. He was one of those like yeah. rich dudes, but was like had a mullet. Had an earring and a mustache, so he knew himself, so, so and his was hair like, was kind of feathered. Me. So he had okay. his life sorted, but he was like seventy. Yeah, well, you silly. I'm him. still gonna send it. And then he had like a, and he <laughs> was, and he would roll around in a seven series BMW, and oh, he I had thought you were gonna tell me an El Camino, and he had an, and he had a nine eleven and something else, and he okay. was like, man, man, my ex wife's really, really on me. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, life. what have you been up to, man? I've just been, I've just been partying. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, I bet. you're like 72 years old. Yeah. Like, but what he lived a, like he was like 45. What a combo. So, <laughs> Alex <laughs> says, uh, manscaping and tongue scraping. To oh, yeah. CMA wow. prep so 2023. I'm, I was just telling Anthony. Yeah. I ordered a new set of glasses. Yep. It'll be coming. Yep. I got to get a, I got a set of shoes. Yep. Two new pairs of shoes. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got my Brooks, my mm-hmm. new Brooks Ghost 15s that I'll be debuting. Yeah. At oh, wow. TRCMA. Hmm. I'll also be debuting mine. Yep. Hmm. Anthony got a new set of Ghost 15s as well. I already well. wore mine on the show here a couple of times. Well, they can't see that. Yeah. Um, well, they, they, I, they could at times. I could literally see Dane's feet right now. Yeah, these ones I see your it. foot. Oh. That, but I wore them yesterday. Oh, that is oh there's Dane's foot. feet. Yeah. I, I wore mine That's what yesterday. I'm wearing. I'm wearing my green ones too. My trail so, shoes. Um, but I got a pair of new Brooks. You got a new pair of Brooks. I got a new pair of glasses. I got a teeth cleaning happening this week. I'm going to be cutting my hair, trimming my beard, wow. shaving my body. And then the other thing, new pair of Converse, custom made oh. Converse Chuck Taylors. Okay. So some people could say that you might just be about prepared for anything. Well, no, I'm Seems ready for way. TR SEMA. Hmm. I mean, for TR SEMA and the world. I mean, you're ready to get and out the there. And the year. And the year. Right. I'm ready for 2023. Wow. I, I like that you have your right foot going forward. So the only thing I don't have, though, what Dixons are we wearing? We haven't planned that out. Oh, yeah. I don't, know about that. I don't know. I don't have anything new. I don't either. I love this Borealis. I'm going to keep wearing this oh, one. All right. right. Dang, good for you. But next up here on the comments, <laughs> we've got... Yeah, I got the Rupas dun, dun, on the tongue, dun, Levi. Uh, yep, exactly. <laughs> yep. Uh, there we go. we got Larry. Ooh, rain and possible tornadoes this afternoon here, Humberto. Ooh, oh, and no. Then, uh, that's scary. Franco Yikes. saying, uh, Dewar, hopefully in separate booths. Uh, and then Kimberly saying, greetings, guys. You and your sales are taking more of my money than the IRS. <laughs> Hashtag recovering shopping addict. I'm so sorry, Kim. Sorry, Kim. <laughs> Get better, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Antoine saying, hey, guys, I'm detailing as a side hustle, but I hit an issue. I've been using Larry's products on my personal vehicles for a year, but they're way too pricey to detail with. Got any recommendations on car wash soaps? Absolutely. Pearl. You're welcome to shop our site and you'll Pearl see Pearl is real like quick. PNS Pearl Very affordable. is quite possibly the most affordable soap on the planet. At the rag and one of the com. best soaps, all purpose, general cleaning soaps available at a really nice price. Dead simple, feels super slick. It'll nice do everything you want it to. And then you can move your way up or down from yeah. there. But everything, the other thing, dude, sign up for the business program. Save a few bucks, yeah. Save yeah. yourself some money every That's time true. you buy. I think if you bought a gallon of Pearl, I think you'd last you much longer than you would ever think it would. Yeah. yeah. So try it out. Uh, we have LHF Detailing says, Afternoon, gentlemen, from Sunny in 67, Del- Delawatt? Delaware. Del- Delawatt. I think it Dela means Watt. Delaware, but I'm going to choose to believe it's Delawate. <laughs> Delawate. Right, Umberto saying, please Exotic. smash and blast that like button. Yeah. And we're all about smashing and blasting. And Ron agrees with the pearl there. Yep. Well, let me just yep. And then Dan Pfeiffer giving the thumbs up, up on that idea. Yep. And on to page two. Wow, we are catching ah, up. Gorilla Jeebus says, Guten Abend, everyone. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's so funny. <laughs> Abend. 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 Uh, I heard there is an updated OptiSil formula. I loved it for ease of use and looks, but I felt it lacks hydrophobics compared to modern products. Is OptiSil viable in 2023? Yeah. yeah. So, yes, OptiSil is still, I mean, it's a fantastic sealant for what it's worth. It was a great um, product when it was it, new and it still is. I mean, when we were making a lot of videos on it, I mean, it really was one of the easiest products to really use at that at that particular time. It's not that we've strayed away from using OptiSeal. It's just 
for the most part, we have so many products at our fingertips that that's one of the things that's overlooked because it is so simple and it is. Yeah. I mean, it's just, but it's still an amazing, it's still an amazing product. product. Yeah. And so anyway, um, OptiSil is still amazing. The new formula, we've heard nothing but good things about it. However, I will say that in comparison, the HydroFocus OptiSil may not be it's like others. It's more of a others. sheeter. It's a sheeter. Mm, it's more of a sheeter. It's it's not it's not going to put on those perfect perfect beads that you would see maybe like the Optimum Car Wax might be able to provide. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I still really do like OptiSil. Um, the only times I really use it now is uh, either as a drying aid or if I'm looking something that is. Um, I, I, I guess something that's a once a true one spray per panel product, mm-hmm. like a true like bam, spread it in. Yeah, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Not the because I douse everything else. It would, yeah. you know, otherwise. Hmm. So I keg detail two says any advantage of throwing in a little APC with your rinseless pre wash? Yeah, it cleans the surface. We've done that. Oh, we yeah, totally no, do that. Yeah, there's no nothing wrong yeah. with that if you want to do that. Yeah. Thirty-three <laughs> <laughs> percent. Love uh, it. Never gone, Levi. Gosh. Uh, and then Christine, anyone else wait all year just for the Shamrock Shakes at McDonald's? Those are tasty. So, so I haven't so had one. I yet. haven't either. I've never had one of those. I've you had never one. Had I shamrock, liked it. It's been a long time. But yeah. should we go get some tomorrow? I'm lactose intolerant, and we are <laughs> He's shooting. He's like, but I will like <laughs> risk we're, it. Well, the thing is, is we're <laughs> shooting off-site. Risk it for the, the – that's sh- right. We are shooting we're off-site. We're shooting off-site here tomorrow for a couple of these videos. We are. And I just don't know how risky I'm feeling. <laughs> Taking your life into your own hands. <laughs> uh, you know, I need, to, I need to grab my tent and my <laughs> yeah, Well, that's what it's for. Yeah. Get your bucket and your me. tent. That's why we got it. The trick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. We Daytona Wall is saying, I'm struggling to understand the differences for Polestar versus Green Star. Could <clears> you break it down for me? Sure. Polestar is designed for the interior. It's more designed as a textile cleaner, where Green Star is used as an all-purpose cleaner. So Polestar is safer, more pH balanced, more neutral, designed to bring those the pH of an interior back down because it's used on textiles, fabrics. It's also arguably safer on plastics. And too. far yeah. safer on plastics. Green Star yeah. is designed as a as a all-purpose cleaner degreaser for a number of different situations. So hope so that makes sense. Accordingly. Yeah, depending on how Green Star <clears throat> is diluted, it can, it can be safe. Yeah. Um, so you can use it for multiple things. But Polestar really is like it's their dedicated APC for – not APC. It's interior their cleaner. Interior cleaner, sorry. And um, and it's safe on Alcantara, which is yeah. nice because um, there's not too many interior products out there that will blatantly say, hey, this is safe for micro suede or Alcantara. Not that others aren't. It's, it's just, just a finicky material. It's just one of those extra things where they went through the process of making sure it is. That makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. So Peter Brooken says, uh, hello, TRC team. Greetings from from California, maybe the deep south. Probably perhaps. the deep south, maybe. <laughs> um, happy Friday Eve. Yep. Sam Squatch, happy Thursday, everyone. Uh, hope you're well and happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks, Thank you. Bud. And then the Sam Squatch, I don't drink personally, but I really want to try Guinness now. You're not missing out. It's it's different from a lot of other beers. It's only if you like stouts. And oh, I like loved that. I loved stouts when I drank. Stouts I are loved. a meal in a cup. It's what I would drink <laughs> Very, all the so time. So is it true that when – so there's, a way, to, there's a way to pour a Guinness. 100%. Yes. There's a particular way to pour yeah. it to where you get the foam. You, you need right. to have the foam. You want some head, but not too much. Well, no, you I want – I don't know what that it doesn't, means. That doesn't matter. You want, you want enough head because it's good luck. Because you got to watch how it moves. He would know the superstition. you got to watch how, how the, the Guinness moves because it's yeah. nitrogen. Okay, yes. Second. Yeah. All the cans have nitrogen in them. Yep. Yeah. And, and when they're like poured, a ball or what is it? What, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little yeah. ball. Okay. Um, but in Smooth in the but though. in the machines, they're also nitrogen poured. Gotcha. And the goal is because it activates enough so that the foam, the head is thick enough. It, it'll create the proper head. Yeah. The problem is there's so many American beer drinkers <laughs> that don't want a head. Period. Ew. But what foam. they don't realize is a, is the European way. You want a head because that's how you get the oxygenation into your beer. Well, they they look at it as when they see the head on top, they go, "Oh, I'm being cheated out right. of more yeah. beer." There's look at all this in my cup. Yeah. And so all this is just foam, and down here is where the beer. Is. I'm being cheated, mm-hmm. and that's what they think. Well, I mean, really, I've only had probably four or five Guinnesses in my life, but I've never hand poured my own. So I'm thinking what I might do 
hit up the G stage tonight, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Go and grab myself a Guinness, maybe two, so I could practice. One to practice with, okay. one to perfect, oh, right? I like that. There you mm-hmm. go. And then see how that goes. But sure. I will say one of the best experiences I had, though, was I think it was on my 21st birthday or around that time. We went to one of the places, and then they go, let's get him an Irish, you know, yeah, car, car yeah. thing. And I go, car, car exploding Car thing. exploding. And I go, all right. <laughs> and then they hand me the thing. They go, drop it in. You're going to drop in. You're going to pound it down. And I go, What? And I did it, and I go, that was delicious. Honestly, they are tasty. And then they said, now let's go eat dinner. And I go, I don't feel good. <laughs> yeah, I feel, don't feel good. sick. Yeah, I don't. I'm in danger. No, I, I remember. <laughs> don't fight I do this. remember one, one St. Patrick's Day I went out. I was probably, I was 22 years old, 21 years old. It was right before I got sober. Like, yeah. we're t- I'm talking like six months before I got sober. And we went out, and it was, I probably had 10 car bombs. Oh, and my God. That's with, just a few. And and probably five or six Guinnesses that night. Wow, oh, that's and that's, inc- that's incredible. I remember like being in the basement of Grainy's, mm-hmm. using Tom the Grainy's bathroom, basement, yeah. using the bathroom, throwing up. Oh no. Then making my way out, finding that the people I was with had left me. Yeah. Made it to the alley. Mm-hmm. Fell asleep in the alley. Yeah. <sighs> One of them found me, woke me up, and said, hey, we're all leaving. And I'm like, I thought you guys left. And they're like, dude, we've only been here like an hour. <laughs> and I was like, no idea what time it was. Oh, I walked no. back to my car. No. Yeah. Slept in my car in the in the parking oh, okay, lot. Okay, good. I was about to be real. Woke up at like <laughs> 6.30 in the morning with a parking ticket on my car. Uh, drove through the parking garage. Yeah. Just put some cash in it and put it back in the thing. Made it to my house, remembered throwing up profusely when I got home, and then not being able to, like, wake up the next morning and having, like, literally the worst hangover of my entire life. So it's funny. Me, I also. And then about I, six months later, I got sober. Yeah, I also have an alley story where I fell asleep in an alley. <laughs> but it's the only time I ever <laughs> fell asleep in an alley. I'll say that for a day. I, I fell asleep in an alley too. I'll, yeah. I'll say that for a different day. <laughs> Not really but a Q and A kind of. What's funny though is We're that building up questions. What's thing. funny though is that you probably parked in one of those damn parking lots that they've now built out to be a new building, right? Yeah. No, it's it? still there. The, gar- <laughs> the garage is still a parking garage. <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't know if it was one of those dirt parking lots. That no, but yeah, I've oh, taken I from used us. to parked many times in those dirt parking lots. All right. Too funny where the man. Aztec truck was always parked out yeah. there serving mm-hmm. up tacos and oh yeah yeah level best says hello good sirs what is your go-to towel to clean instrument cluster panels and what is your preferred cleaning method all right so a couple go-to towels here that are great for that first off creature edgeless edgeless 365 but when it comes to instrument clusters specifically like the actual plastic lenses this is something you want to be careful about because they will scratch by simply looking at them so oftentimes they are pretty caked with dust Mm -hmm. if you go to clean it with a low pile towel or a paper towel or a shop towel or something like that you're going to scratch the crap out of it and i don't know if you've ever had to try to polish an instrument cluster screen it's not a good time so what i recommend is have an anti-glare coating which makes it even yeah. Impossible. Yeah. You just can't so do it. Hmm. one of my favorite things is the eaglets. There yeah. are little eaglet yeah. towels. And uh, they're like an eagle edgeless, but they're very small. The little 8 by 8 size is absolutely perfect for gauge clusters and instrument clusters because you can simply damp that, damp that area, maybe one little spritz or half a spritz, mm-hmm. take that thing in there and just clean it all up. And if you have one that's recessed or more circular, it goes back down in there, give it a little twist, it'll clean all that out, and you just want to make sure to check for any type of leftover lint or fibers. But the eaglets are hands down. My One go-to. of the other things that's nice is pair that set of eaglets with uh, buying maybe the Stiarna Gloss Essentials kit mm, mm-hmm. or uh, any of the 250 ml interior cleaner G Technic yeah. bottles. Yeah. Maybe some Tri Clean or yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just have that. or any in that little 250 ml. Yeah. Keep that in the door or the center console with uh, with that. In case you're driving, we all have this. You'd sneeze, right? It hits you. You just can't stop it. Yeah. And just or you cover your mouth because you sneeze. You're like, oh, my God, and it comes out your nose or whatever. Yeah. Hits the it hits flies the flies past your hand. Yeah. And you're like, oh crap. Yeah. Or you're Dane, right? And you're yeah. driving around and you're dipping your chicken nuggies into some yeah. sauces, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and it's and splashes. Those two things and never happen. You get over splash. And, and then he goes, oh brakes. He, <laughs> he says brace. He right? says brace. Oh. And he goes, brace. he goes, oh buttermilk ranch all over my center yeah. console, my gauge <laughs> right. cluster. Totally never happened. Right. Yeah. 
Because well, it's pretty Dane, sure it's happened. Dane took that risk <laughs> yeah. for dunking and driving. Yeah. I mean, like, let's well, just we all know he like, loves. There's nothing better than a good Friday night dunking and driving. Dunk and drive, dude. I mean, that's what he does. <laughs> yep. He likes to go. Some people call it cruising. He calls it looking for a dunk and looking for a yeah. friend. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so he likes to that. he likes to get on the open <laughs> road, feel the engine. <laughs> Turn the windows, uh, crack the windows a little bit. Get that grand touring feel (laughs) while dunking and driving. Minus that part. That's what it's all about. (laughs) Dunk and drive, not once. Uh, So, okay. Uh, Peter Brookins says, Tony's Kitchen should expand the menu and fire up some Irish treats. Peter, I Mm, I wish I could. Delicious delicious Irish treats made by a Portuguese man with love. (laughs) That's the problem. Nothing more (laughs) Irish. I think think that's the thing. I think that the the distance between those two places. are The climates are slightly different, which also changes the food that's available. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what that looks like, Peter, but I guarantee you it would probably involve an air fryer in Mm. one way, shape. Perform. It's delicious. It's a uh, Cervantes is saying, I, uh, we are not liable for trespassing charges. Oh. And then uh, Franco saying, detailer chick, oh my God, yes, shamrock shake, more so than the McRib. I feel you there. Uh, LHF detail and saying, 599 likes, and Dane gets foamed while washing his new car. There's two see, things I don't enjoy. You know, that, okay. <laughs> That'll happen. If that happened, we would 100% make that happen. Like, yep. no questions asked. Yep. See this this sucks 100%. because Anthony was the one who got phone with me. Levi's five ninety nine every single 50, time. Five ninety nine is actually a really good number for just Dane to get yep. phoned. I agree. I think a thousand <sighs> and I would join him. Yeah. <laughs> Han says happy <laughs> late Friday wash or late late wash eat wash Wednesday. You're welcome, buddy. Oh man. The Dino uh, saying Hans and then David saying I miss hearing about those express cafe shenanigans. Aww. They were some of my favorite little stories because you, every can you remember how we would ask Dane. <laughs> What did you, you, you do this weekend? Right, went to Express Cafe. It was always it was it was a it was a part of his life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was and routine. now that he's left that side of town, right? Yeah. He's too good for Express Cafe. Well, it's a good. long drive now. I've so literally like gone there every other weekend. Literally for the taken last thirty minutes round trip. Months. You have yes, but you never talk about it. No, I don't talk about it, but I do it. So <laughs> it's a it's a it's, long drive. That's yeah. a commitment, Dane. It's worth talking about to bring back the Express Cafe <laughs> lore. We have poured our hearts and souls into that company and into what they do. I feel like I, they don't even know who we are. I have been they going there since 2011. No, like when I go there, like they know me. Just just ask for Ricky at the window. She knows me, and she'll be like, Dane, awesome. Here's your donuts. She gives me like all the donuts. It's great. How I come you never that. bring any of these in? Yeah. I would have loved to be known I, that Ricky because gave Because it donuts. happens on like a Saturday or a Sunday mm, and there's okay. a few days that pass and they're only really their best in the so first So one of my day. favorite things, speaking of that, is when we were filming for TRCMO mm-hmm. last year, right? We had our scene at Express Cafe, yeah. which right. if you guys saw the whole intro, there was mm-hmm. a Express Cafe scene where we got cake donuts and everything like that. Yep. My favorite part is we had to wait for them to actually close <laughs> like or like they had to close down. Because they closed at 2.30 in the afternoon and yeah. we, we in needed, typical breakfast place We fashion. needed to use their drive through right. for this scene, but there were still customers in it. And so we had kind of waited it out and they're like, well, what should we do? Because we got to burn like 45 minutes, right? So it was me, Dane, Levi, Anthony B, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, right. Um, I can't remember who else was with us at the time. And we go... Well, there is kind of store? there's a complex over here, like a little shopping center. Phoenix where, Fire where, Games, where there is like there was a Big Lots, oh, yeah. there is an Albertsons, but it's an old that it's an old that shopping tabletop center. gaming shop, that like shopping that kind of place. Fifty years old, yeah, right. The kind of and place you get your Pokemon cards and Warhammer figurines. Yeah, so we said let's go to Phoenix Fire Games. So yeah. we went in there, walked around, and I spent go, like thirty minutes. In yeah, there. and I go, man, this place smells like. I was gonna nerd, say the smell is it. the immediate thing that it's, hits you when you walk this, in the door. You're like, oh. It smells it's like the nerd. Dungeons and Dragons tabletop <laughs> game smell. It's that. It's just the smell that comes mm-hmm. from that. But we it's went in there. It's not a good smell. But we had fun. That it's was dusty. That was a fun it's time. Fun, it was a fun it's time. It's a musky. Dusty, dusty games. <laughs> yeah. Dusty musky. Grant Hotry. <laughs> but they love it there. <laughs> I miss. Oh, uh, Anthony's home cleaning and polishing tip <laughs> number one. Hmm. Optimum Power Clean One to One works great on removing oil and blood stains from any garage floor. Oh dear. Please like, share, and sub to all TRC Media. <laughs> it actually does. Wow, those are two things that are very true. Very yeah. informative. Thank That's you. very nice great. to have. JD Garage. If I drive all the way from New Mexico this summer to the TRC headquarters, would you guys be down to do a Wash Wednesday with my beautiful oh. 07 Mustang GT? Yes, JD, we, we, we would. We would make it happen. Yep, and it doesn't 100%. have to happen on a Wednesday. We could do it on another day and release it on if a Wednesday. If you made that trek, we would absolutely make yes. that happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Hans says, Abend, Dino. Abend. Dino says, hey, Hans. <laughs> uh, and then Pat Welsh, I'm an Irishman and proud of it. Nice. The name like Patrick Welsh? I don't... I, I would have thought it. you were Welsh. <laughs> uh, Franco saying, I've asked before, guys, about that Fuso coat, then wax over. Conventional wisdom has taught me in the past that wax goes over a sealant. Am I wrong about Fuso being a paste form sealant? No, you're not. We've just never done that before. Right. Franco, have fun. Try it. See what you want to do. But you're right. Sealant, then wax. Strongest stuff goes first. Dino... I got to go, boys. Sore muscles and a lack of sleep got me barely staying awake. See you in another time. Dino you know, will peace. forgive you. Thank it's you very late night, there, Dino. so that's okay. Yeah, yeah, just Take keep care, the buddy. window open while we're, yeah. while we're playing, and we'll lull you to sleep. Yeah. Yes, yes. We're, uh, uh, we don't mind if you're just sleeping. Sleepy time playlist, you can though. sleep. Good it's just keep the window open. Dino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joey Belinsky, you guys got any more teal things for me to buy? <laughs> Great. Mm. Oh, boy. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> and then uh, Franco saying, Dino, you got this. And then Alex, I'll leave an extensive Google review on the shed stay and stay on the neighborhood watch for cough dumpers, <laughs> and couch, couch dumpers, <laughs> and Trish visits. So I would have loved to see Alex's interaction with Trish. Oh, I mean, how like, are you? Like, what do you got going on? Like, I would just pull, because what would happen is I'd be like, Alex, we got an issue. Trish is back, right? Yeah. She's smoking cigs and she's blasting Trivium. I was going to say, like, so Trivium. I'm like, huh? I'm like, you need to get out there and go go get these things right. And Alex is like, sounds good. So it'd be like an hour later. I'm like, I mean, they're still out there. Oh, he's sitting in the passenger and, seat. And, so that's when I go over there and it'd be, it'd be, Alex would have like a marble red and he's like rocking out to Trivium. Yeah. And he's like, dude, this is awesome. I'm like, <laughs> great time. Can you guys take it somewhere yeah. else, please? <laughs> Still tough with the mom. Still huh? the funniest <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scott, good afternoon, guys. Can you tell me about KCX's rust remover? Is it for wheel and paint decon, and is it foamable? Uh, we haven't used it in a foam cannon yet, mm. but um, I will say it is paint safe, and uh, you can use it for wheels, um, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right. David Boyce, Pan the Organizer, just did a video on five rinseless washes and their multiple uses. He mentioned Dr. B, and he meant Dr. G, and he illustrates higher dilutions of the rinseless for carpets, interior, clay, and detail. So that's that's probably why. Because these things always happen in ways. When a big YouTuber drops like a video Mm -hmm. that has some specific stuff that involves a product, maybe we sell or something, all the questions come flowing to us. Like, what do you think about that? Yeah. so I have to watch the video. From I'm just glad. That, I'm glad to hear that that Dr. G has been yeah. out and about talking about active. Stuff. Yeah. It's good, it's is. good yeah. to see. Right. Grant, Grant Hattery says, "Don't Google humping hand." <laughs> yeah, the word is humpin, not humping. It's got an yeah, apostrophe yeah. after the end, so you know, no, no G on that. It's like bumping. It's like bumping mm. Hannah. Yeah, yeah, bumping and humping Hannah. There you go. That's the name of a real place. Don't judge us for saying it. All right, so I'm looking. We're on page one already? Holy yeah. cow. Okay. We got to get some more Kay questions. Kay Vaslick saying, cool to use Diamond Body 36 on Chrome. Smash that thumbs up, folks. Nice. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Cervantes, so I know that blue collar is a general purpose, do all, <clears throat> stay hard towel. But how does it do with polish and compound? I'm almost wanting to equate it to a dual pile drag almost. Yeah, no, that's it's. If you use it 365 or the 420 for compound and polishing, you'll find the same style Happy in medium. the blue collar. Yeah. <laughs> True. Umberto, Levi is going to be totally detailed for SEMA 2023. Mm. TRCMA. Yes. That's right. Yes, he is. Every crack and crevice. <laughs> Franco says, I just got some Ghost 15s. Holy guacamole, they're great. Oh, they Franco. Yeah, right. How do you like Jeez, it? Right? right? Good Very nice. choice. Got good snap off the line. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Alex Dewar saying, uh, checking out the Ghost 15s on the Brooks site. My goodness, such hotness. Beautiful, high-quality footwear. One of the many things that's Love differentiated that. this year for the from the 14s to the 15s, 15s now using the DNA Loft foam. Mm, yeah. Makes a difference. Which we've got on the glycerins yeah. right now that we're yeah. rocking, making them super comfortable, super squishy, and giving you a little more comfort. And, like, let's just say you do decide to do what these shoes are intended for, and you decide to go for a quick run, yeah, right? or a long run. I think run. you're going to see the benefits from these <laughs> shoes. We wouldn't know. We are, we are, we are known we, as the slowest uh, sponsored athletes at the Brooks, <laughs> in the Brooks uh, yes, we are. shed. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Our records are the other direction. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. but when we're speed walking, right? We're walking or standing. The studio. 
we're, leaning. We're, we're having a good time. We're yeah. chilling. Yeah. I got stopped in the grocery store yesterday, yeah. and the kid complimented me on my Brooks. Oh. Yeah. And he was like, yo, those are some dope shoes, my guy. And I yeah. said, oh, thanks, man. And then I looked at him, and I go, you complimented me on my vest a couple <laughs> weeks ago when I was walking through Fred Myers, And he goes, oh, yeah, I did. Weird. You must just have good taste. And I said, cool. <laughs> You're like, are you very strange? Because it was the same dude. First, he complimented. I don't know who he is. Like yeah. he pretended but he stopped not to me know. in the Fred Myers and complimented was me this on like my a student age. He's, yeah, he's like or? he was like like a sea bass age. But okay, okay. He's mess. Maybe he's messing with yeah, you. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I was wearing be. my black vest, and he's like, "Damn, that's a dope ass vest, dog." And yeah. I said, "Thanks." Yeah. And he's like, he goes, Where, "Where'd you get that?" And I said, "It's Costco." <laughs> It's a hawk. I got it like <laughs> ten years ago, yeah. and he's like, "Wow, that's that's legit." And then yesterday, he's like, "Nice shoes, my guy. I've been wanting to get me a set of Brooks. I've been hearing good things about him." And oh, I'm like, boy. "Wait a minute! I know exactly who you are. You're cool like haircut, dude. Like, kid who keeps the following me, and complimenting, complimenting me. me. Sick kicks, yeah. my guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just I love it when people use that term. All right, so, we got my guy. We got wild hogs in here <laughs> that says, "Speaking of Chrome, hmm. I have a." bike with some micro scratches in the chrome bits compounding polishing hasn't touched them scared to sand due to the thinness of the chrome any tips that's a hard one um not all chrome can be polished paper thin so it's very hard to say um short of having something re-chromed or doing a test spot knowing that you might have to re-chrome it uh some chrome is very thick and you can do that other chrome has a coating on it and in reality, sometimes that's the coating that is scratched. Um, but yeah, it just depends on where it's placed on the bike yeah. and what type of chrome it is. Um, okay. That's true. Dennis saying uh, the Coach soaps are awesome as well. Yep. They are. I think it, the main reason we brought up Pearl was because bang for buck. It's yep. like such a yep. great exactly. deal. Yeah. And my guy, Kirby, saying, hey, TRC crew, late to the afternoon chat, raining out in Houston, and more rain in tomorrow. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. Guess yeah. we got some of ours. We got, well, we got sun today. Yeah. Can't believe yeah, it's it. sunny now. now Hans, with a, with a perspective many of us all have, uh, he likes getting head, but I would foam up. Oh, yeah. dear. Okay. Um, and then Brian saying, that. is Diamond Body, Diamond Body through six, a good coating for someone who's new to applying ceramic coatings? Uh, yeah, it's easy enough for, if this is your first time, just note that with Diamond Body, there is Almost no wait time. You put it on a panel, you remove it. Um, Diamond Body 36. Uh, the time frame is 15 minutes um, after you apply to remove. So watch usually your time. Less, usually less than that. Try right. and do it in under anywhere from 5 to 10. Yeah. Watch our recent High Spots video yeah. with Levi, and yeah. it'll give you a good sense of what to yeah. expect. Agreed. And watch or watch the one of me in Italy when I'm doing yes, a car and, the and literally in the driveway. We so. got a Ratatouille says, hi, guys. I'm glad to hear that you treat your dental hygiene so seriously. I am surprised that you don't use a water pick uh, for point. flossing as well. Levi, disagree with you on use of a hard toothbrush. Also. So I like to be able to feel it. Oh. Yeah. I use a medium bristle. Yeah. Toothbrush. I think a medium's too small. Happy medium works for me. I like a soft. That, that's not a. That's not a real brush. That's not a real. They have soft, soft a, medium, so, hard. That's soft. what I said. It's a medium. The he medium is a happy medium. medium. You said happy you, medium. the happy medium was your The happy favorite. is just a modifier for medium, but it's still oh, medium. Oh, okay. Because I, I was going to say, that's, <laughs> not, that's, that's a not... child's toothbrush, Shane. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> it's, it's, it's red and department. it's shaped like a race car. And it says <laughs> happy on it, and it's medium. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> so um, I'm a medium guy. But, Cargo uh, fast. I also, yeah. use, uh, I also use, I believe it's the Oral-B uh, diamond. Mm. It's the diamond electric toothbrush. Oh, okay. That's my normal everyday toothbrush. Yeah, my new have. favorites are the Oral-B charcoal brushes. Okay. Ooh, the charcoal. Interesting. So they're black. They look cool because they're black. Yeah. Yeah. But then they've got the they're they've got the crisscross applesauce oh, wow. bristles Great. and being stiff. Yeah. I have to hunt because I can't ever find a hard bristle. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I have to order them on Amazon to get the hard modifier. Yeah, sure. I just like them to be stiff. I want to be able to really break that stuff up. Okay. I, w- I don't want anything to be sitting on the teeth. And then I've got a small toothbrush. It's about this big. That's also a stiff but a perfectly flat bristle. Yeah. I bust that bad boy out when I need to do a little polishing. That's oh. like my that's like my yellow foam pad. 
It's like right. a hybrid. So I'm bringing out the heavy cut first, <laughs> and then I've got the the medium polish. Okay. Just yeah. to add a little sheen, a little gloss. I can yeah. see that. So you as know. far as a water pick's concerned, though, I used to use a water pick when I was younger. I had one when I was I a teenager. I used to use a shower. Um, and the thing was with a water pick is that um, I hated the fact that whenever I'd use it, the mirror would be absolutely oh, yeah. splattered oh. with just stuff from my mouth nasty my stuff. my parents would be like yeah you gotta if you use the water pick you gotta clean off the mirror clean and i'm it. like i'm sick of the water pick right. i'm done with picks yeah <laughs> so i just floss That's yeah it. augie has his own water pick he just spits back on the mirror oh oh okay, okay. so, so daytona wallace off. here so green star is similar to forced pole star is similar to express yes. question mark yeah. yes so it's, yeah That's a, That's a, it's not, it's not fully, a perfect one-to-one but, yes. but it's close yeah. yeah if this yeah. then that all right, yeah. so um, before we jump into any more questions, we're yes. going to let some questions build up here because uh, you guys need to ask some more, or we need to hear more about your guys' lives. We're on page one, so you guys or, better start uh, coming up with some stuff. Pick at us and prod <laughs> us for maybe uh, funny and humorous things. Who knows? We're going to leave that up to you. Uh, but we are going to be jumping to a quick few-minute break yep. here, and then right after that, we're going to be back for more questions. So Oof. we'll see you in a few. See ya. Off-road. Have I got a savings for you on this St. Patrick's Day? Not only is the rag company bringing back mystery bags, but we have another little uh, special trick up our sleeves. That's right, we are coming out with a limited edition product from our friends at PNS called Shamrock Shine. You can pick it up here, and it's only available here at the Rag Company. Now for those of you picking up a mystery bag, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with just how much luck is gonna be in each one of those bags. And we got some new swag. So head on over to the rag company and pick up these items before the rainbow disappears. <laughs> Amazing. Dean, I didn't know you could do any of that stuff. Neither <laughs> did I. Wow. <laughs> well, oh. now that you're an actual bartender, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe whip us up oh, some uh, Mr. Oh yeah. Dane. Dane, do it. I mean it's my first day, but let me see what I can whip up. Nice. <laughs> feedback let me know what you think oh my god this just smells amazing good good all right well levi dane cheers man cheers nice Bottom cheers. Up. thanks dane oh my god <laughs> <laughs> 
God, why, why are you spinning my drink up? I worked hard on that. What is in the, is this, is that polymers? My mouth is encapsulating. Why would you even know what polymers taste like? It tastes like chemicals. Did you feed us oh. chemicals? What did you put in this? Oh. I made you a nice drink. Oh. Well, just supposed oh. to be nice. Oh, guys, that's my car. What? You hit my car. God, guys, if you didn't want the drinks, you could have just given them back to me or something. Ah, oh, dude. Are you seeing that shine over there? Hmm? On the car. Oh my god. Dane, what'd you put in that stuff? What, in your drinks? Yeah. yeah. Some water and some absolute. Absolute vodka? No. PNS double black absolute rinseless water. Wait a minute. Are you trying to poison us? Dane! Uh, Did you just make us drink rinseless no, water? No, no, no definitely us? didn't do that. Uh, Absolute rinseless wash is not for oral or suppository consumption. It looks pretty good. It does, however, leave a hell of a clean and smooth surface on your vehicle. Wow. PNS Absolute Rinseless Wash. Mix responsibly. Is that, is that something? I mean, it's yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying thing? it. I'm kind of so. liking this. Yeah. So just don't drink it. No. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's make sure we don't don't drink it for the future. But do hey. put it on cars. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's for cars. Put it on a car. Okay. Not yeah. inside yet. <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome back to the second half of Q&A Thursday here at the Rag Company YouTube channel. Uh, Rag Company Podcast YouTube channel. I have to remember that. we got two channels. So, if you're not subscribed to them both, make sure you do so. I do have a comment to say on oh. that last image. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of the flames. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the car. Yeah. Yes. 50 years ago, yeah. the ditch behind the building was still there. Yeah. A hundred years ago, mm -hmm. the ditch behind the building was still there. Yeah, yeah. that ditch has been there for. So, ever. if we were in a time machine, and we went back in time, yeah, and to when the building was not there, and let's just say the whole this whole area was a field, yeah, we'd still crash into a ditch. Yes. Well, if we didn't already go back in time. No, if we went back in time. If we did, and we didn't slam on the brakes immediately in the oh, dirt, yeah, we would still crash into a ditch. Possibly and destroy the in time a, machine. A barn with bales of hay. You we know, wouldn't even. There's situation. no. The bar, we'd still hit the ditch before the barn. That's a big ditch. Yeah, it is a pretty good sized ditch. I mean, no, it's like 15 feet across. Yeah, it's. it's we not can't. Small. You can't jump across it. Well, I mean, you could I do. Mean, it's a hazard, it, but you'd you, need a ramp first. Where are we gonna get the ramp? It, yeah, mm, don't that's know. True. So anyway, moving anyway, into this, guys. Welcome back. Great to effects. The half great here. effects. <laughs> uh, we have some great effects, and we have plenty more content to come in yes. regards to TRC. So we have Sandra popping in, says, will TRC be carrying KCX Gumi Ooh. Fix? Also, will there be a schedule for TRCMA? Thanks, gents. So yes and yes yeah. to both. We will be carrying Gumi Fix when that time comes, and then there will be a schedule for TRCMA. Yeah, the schedule, I mean, we, we obviously have the dates out there that you can find, but if you want the schedule because you're trying to figure out who's on which day, that information will be coming fairly soon. We just want to make sure we do all our St. Patty's Day stuff first, and then we kind of move into the next yep. phase. Then you'll see it. So probably yeah, just next stay week. tuned. Yeah. Easiest way to find out more is to make sure that you are subscribed to the newsletter mm -hmm. yep. because we will be sending out info on TRSEMA. Yes. But also make sure you're part of the Rag Company Podcast Discussion Group on Facebook. Yeah. Because we're going to be leaving information there. Make sure you like and subscribe to all the TRC stuff. So Rag Company on Instagram, Rag Company uh, on Facebook, Rag Company on TikTok, mm -hmm. all the stuffs. All the Sign up for all of them. That way you never miss a beat. And then True. Scott saying, has anyone tried KCX H902, the new version of Heavy Cut? Hmm. Is it noticeably better with the DA? Yes. So it's been reformulated. Yep. So my old buddy... Dr. Michael Carr uh, from uh, uh, yep. Coach Kemi yep. uh, told me, literally, to my face, mm -hmm. oh, 
to my face. Yeah. He said, face. I'm retiring this year. And I said, no. oh, I'm sorry to no. hear that. And he said, I develop all the compounds for Kush Kimmy. And I said, yeah, I know. It's great stuff. And he goes, and you're one of my best friends. And I said, wow, oh. thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And he goes, but I heard you didn't like, you don't <laughs> like heavy cut because it dusts too much. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't really work with a rotor, with a dual action. It's, yeah. And I said, yeah. And he goes, I designed it for a rotary, so you're going to use it with a rotary. And I said, oh, okay. And but he average goes, people won't know that. And he goes, but... Just for you, Mr. Gates, <laughs> I have developed H902. Hmm. Did he say all these things? Wow. He said all these things to me. And then uh-huh. he said, it's designed to work better with the DA. Really? It's designed to have a little more length of lubrication, a little more added cut. All the things that you like, I've developed for you, my friend. He and said I said, all of this. wow, I am honored. I just don't think he said anything. And that's that. amazing. Yeah. And he said all this to me. Not only at SEMA. Hmm. In Germany? But also in Germany at Auto Mechanica. Uh, I do remember seeing you talking to him. I talked to him a lot. Yeah. Because we're good buddies. Yeah. We're best friends. Yeah. And I was excited to see him at SEMA. And he said, this is probably my last SEMA because I'm going to retire at the end of the year. And I said, at the end of this year. And I said, it's going to be a sad day. And so I'm hoping he's still there when we go down this summer to see him. Okay. So. But anyway, no, it's it's yeah. great. It's a good product. It's designed specifically for that reason, to work with a DA uh, and to have a little more longer cutting ability. All so. because he said so. Yeah. Alex Duar, Anthony doesn't clean his clusters. He just replaces them with his collection of CRV clusters acquired from the Jalopy <laughs> Jungle. Yeah, it's weird. I got in the Dodge the other day. We went and got some coffee, and there was a Honda cluster. Oh, that's kind of weird, Just right? kind of sitting on top of the dash, yeah. held on with some Velcro. Yeah. It wasn't hooked up. Yeah. It's just like an extra But it was an extra da- extra okay. gauge cluster. Just in case. Well, you you hit a big enough time. bump, that stuff's just going to turn to dust on top. It's going to fall right through and become true, a new cluster. True, true. Yes. But yeah. Anthony just, said it's it, it's a lightweight race it's a, edition. It's a quick reload cluster. It is It is from a Honda, so it is going to be fairly yeah. lightweight. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not you're not wrong, Alex. The Jalopy yeah. Jungle provides Alex. Larry Singleton says Scott. They say H nine oh two dust less and has longer work time as well as more cut. All those things are true. <laughs> David Cervantes says, gotta head out a bit early hmm. today, unfortunately. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. You Thank as well, you, David. For David, for showing up. Take care. JD, right on guys. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you this summer. Okay, just make sure we're here. Yeah. Uh, Grant, Dane is the TRC version of Paul Walter Hauser, <laughs> a.k.a. Stingray from Cobra Kai. <laughs> Ooh, Stingray. You nice. know what's really messed up? I have, like, a huge backlog of movies. I've watched historical and otherwise new stuff, whatever. I've never watched... Uh, Cobra Kai? Cobra Kai. I haven't I never either. watched Karate Kid. I've never oh. watched any of the original stuff. I've watched like, all the Karate Kids. Yeah. I've seen I never scenes from I know, like, Mr. Miyagi and all that stuff, but I never actually watched the movie. For some reason, I watched, like, Three Ninjas and random stuff growing up as a kid. I and, like, love other things, so. Three Ninjas. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that unlocked a memory for I you. I <laughs> love Three Ninjas. What was your favorite? I was, I was right at the edge of, like, the age group for Three Ninjas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I remember watching it, and I remember going, like... Yeah, it was kind of a kids movie. Oh, it's totally a kids like, movie. Yeah, I remember, why, I remember going it's like an adult oh, trying to watch it, but not as fun. It is a kids as movie. as a kid though. But I was a kid. I was a teenager. Right, watching were, it, but going, you were at the age where you were just, just at the point too, turning edgy enough. It was you're like, just That's enough for that I was like, kids. Uh, Beverly Hills Ninja though. <laughs> Let's watch that. <laughs> Dane, what was your favorite Three Ninjas? Mm. I watched the first one a lot, and then there was the one with uh, Hulk Hogan. Right on the 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 roller coaster like yeah. I watched that thing. one too yeah yeah I forget what that was called what though. was the one where it had the orange VHS cover and it was um, them jumping in the air but it's when they they had the green mask the blue mask and the uh, like orangish red mask was that the first or the second one remember like they go to their grandpa's house and he trains yeah. them yeah. and then they them. go back to their house but it's like a home alone situation the people are breaking in I mean the the stories for those are like hugely derivative because it's a good movie. everything I show from my the mid to late movie. 80s had to be like ninja everything yeah. for kids so that was a very popular thing my and kids Teenage would Mid-Ninja actually Turtles Augie would probably great. love that show do you know which three ninjas I'm talking about it was like three ninjas something it was like there, or maybe that I was original I see it on Prime or on uh it's it's on a streaming service right now. Was it around that time that Dennis the Menace came out? The Probably, re- the, the yeah. Newer Which play? actually was a great great movie. Also, uh, yeah. random fun fact: the original... was that the one that had the, was that the one that had the GT in it, the the bike? Yeah, um, oh. I think so. Was that? Do you know what I'm talking about where the bike gets stolen? Maybe it wasn't Dennis the Menace. It was no. It was there's another, a bike that gets stolen. There was another. Oh, uh, 
What's it called? Gleaming the Cube. No, oh. no, it's got what's his name? He was the dad. Um, he's he's the, he's what's his name from Happy Gilmore? The not the bad guy, but you know the the jerk golfer yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. He oh. was a dad in this movie, and little he had flubber? no, it wasn't flubber, <laughs> not flubber. But he had his son, and then his son got that brand new like GT like BMX bike, and then it got stolen. But it had like the white wheels and the whole goal of the okay. movie was yeah. getting the bike back. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking movie about? BMX? It sounds familiar. I Not feel like BMX. I've seen scenes from this, but I don't it know wasn't what it's called. Let's ask the ether and anyway, find out. You guys Maybe we'll know. get a question. I was just going to say, fun fact the original right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was one of the largest grossing independent movies of all okay, time. Okay, that, that was so, all right. fun fact. Joey Belinsky <laughs> left you guys open in the background during a meeting just now. You've trained me well. Thank you, Joey. We appreciate it. <clears throat> JB, favorite products to clean gene dye transfer on Lexus white leather and to protect from the abrasion in the future. Check out. Mm. Color lock kits, my friend. They have the that little sealant, demo thing. The on color, the table. they yeah, they have so much stuff. The other thing that can help clean those seats, and then coat them with diamond leather. Yeah, that is a great coating for that product for mm-hmm. that surface. But make sure you clean them the best you can. The color lock products are all designed to be able to take care of that gene dye transfer. You can go with either sealant, just like on a car, paint sealant, or coating. Uh, we always recommend uh, the diamond leather coating because it is permeable. Do not put a leather coating on a leather that is not permeable. Yeah, true. Peter Brookins, is Coach Kemi planning on making a label change to the KCX labels here in the USA? Uh, no idea, but we'll oh. maybe we can ask that when uh, they're here for well, TRCMA. I think they're making a label change. It's a brand just something. Change. Something's happening, though. Yeah. Mm. Glossy uh, Bear. Glossy Bear says, what's up, everyone? Uh, what's, oh, oh, sorry. What's everybody's favorite <laughs> detailing pant? Pants. Pant. Looking for something pant. comfortable with some water resistance. A I singular want an version upgrade of pant. From my dickies. So back in the day when I ran my shop, my boys all ran double front black duck car hearts. Ooh, it's hot. They are hot. Double ducks are hot. The double knee ducks. Yeah, I know. It's hot though. Yeah. Um, that's what we would wear yeah. in the winter time. In the summer, I would buy everybody Dickie shorts or Carhartt shorts, whichever one they wanted to wear, because they last. They lasted yeah. a long time. Now, nowadays on my weekends, yeah, I don't. I'm not constrained by a business anymore. Sure. Yeah. Or having a certain look or feel, so I'm all about that comfort. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have yeah. a pair of pants that are my travel pants. Mm-hmm. Action man pants. My action man pants. Yeah. Detail in those. Dude yoga pants. No. Because they're stretchy. <laughs> they zip off. Because they zip off the legs, zip off, and I, I have know. shorts. Oh, just, you used to have to so be like get... a huge nerd in school to wear those yeah. things. I remember those. I've got a pair oh, of man. Eddie Bauer ones that are that are army green. <laughs> they're shorts. And no, they're, they're not. And they're stretchy and waterproof. Oh, but stretchy is a new dimension. Those. It's a totally new dimension. I so I can get them to fit like a pair of joggers. Huh. But then they're super comfortable and stretchy, but they have pockets and zippers and stuff. And I don't have to feel like I'm carrying a bunch of baggy junk around. <laughs> Those really are action man Here's pants. the best part, Dane. When we're on a plane yep. and I get hot and I'm sitting, I just, <laughs> I just crack. <laughs> he just, I just, <laughs> I've done this. I've done this in front of Anthony. I, I literally He'll, unzip. One I can leg see, but to the viewers, the this other. looks way worse than what I'll you unzip <laughs> and I'll open them up <laughs> and I get a little airflow. Yeah, he does. Keep the furnace oh, and keep the boy. furnace from getting too hot. And when yep. I see that, like I kind of just go. Oh, okay, <laughs> he I shakes his head and goes, right. Are "You but kidding it's, me?" It's usually the other people on the plane that also see it and go, "What is he doing?" Well, over we're there? in first class usually. So. Yeah, I'm yeah, that just makes it weirder. Those people judge us more. Joey Balinski says, "My buddy bought me a." A pair. No, but what do of, you guys wear? What are your pants? What um, do you like? When detailing? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I like to be able to like move and squat um, and flex. I just and... joggers, man. Joggers are just, you guys know, okay. I, love, I love my joggers. And so yeah. I throw on a pair of cargo joggers. I have the flexibility that I'm looking for, right? I have the stretch. And then also it's just, it's that all day comfort, right? It's yeah. not the commitment of a full pant. But it's also still casual enough. Well, to I know wear. you're you're hard at wanting to commit to a full pant. Mm. I usually am. It is pretty hard to commit to a full pant for me because mm-hmm. a full pant means that that's what my day looks like. Right. Yeah. And I can't accept that that my day looks t- so formal and feels so right. formal. Even a pair of jeans are hard for me to commit mm-hmm. to fully. So yeah, yeah. That's why I like my pants because that yeah. at a drop of the hat, 
they can become shorts mm. a matter I mean, of seconds. Stretchy jeans are good, but the jogger is truly just wonderful. <laughs> uh, we have my guy. Oh, no, get the – you finished B. Belinsky's. What? What? Oh, what? Belinsky, sorry. Um, here we go, Joey. Sorry about that. My buddy there bought me a pair of Yeezys as a gift this week. I hope they're comfy. Are Yeezys still allowed? Yes. So Yeezys Depends are, on who you talk yeah, to. Depends <laughs> on who you talk to. <laughs> are absolutely still allowed. I mean, if you're going to the East Coast and you're going camera shopping and things like that, you're just going to be careful, basically. Uh, if you're, if you're going to be – oh, my God. <laughs> you're going to be comfy in your shoes. <laughs> you I, okay, I, I see what you're doing. Okay, but no, like the shoes themselves, very comfortable. If you're capable I will say, of separating art from artists and you're like, I just like these shoes. And, I will and say. And ignore everything else. Okay, I guess. Yeah. We wore them. We had ours for SEMA. Yeah. We had ours for Auto Mechanica. We, we had them at exactly um, the wrong time. So, I, but Honestly, I will say this. No, I will so say this. Many, there's so many people in Yeezys. I, I think that everybody's on the same page. I think like, everybody's hey, okay. But, but here's the thing, though. They I'm not even talking about cool that. Yeah. I'm talking about the technical aspects of these shoes. Sure. Mm-hmm. When we were in Europe, yeah. it was the hotness. People were impressed <clears throat> that that's what we were wearing as a company. They're kind of like gave moccasins us, on top. It gave us some cloud. It gave us some cloud. However, I will say my feet hurt. They were too squishy and well, not enough shape and too far forward. I felt like I was wearing high heels. My, my feet slip around forward and back in them. Like yeah. they're just very loose feeling, even if you like totally time not up and that. everything. Yeah, it feels it like is. you're walking on a sandal, like a platform, and then the top part is just a bag that moves around. Like it, it's strange. It looks like but it Anthony has loves them. Support. There's many people reality, on our team that find them to be the most comfortable shoes on the planet. So but I found myself wanting to go back to my Brooks so because I of will, the structure I will, and the strength. I will honestly admit that I do love yeah. my Yeezys, right? The only downside is the fact that they are sometimes too squishy, right? Yeah. I don't have enough snap off the line. If I hear somebody say, hey, go run, I'm going to say, ooh, I don't know. Like yeah. my thing, oh, my I foot wouldn't might, be running. Think my, my foot might slide out or might roll my ankle. Other times, too, I don't feel like they are a good driving shoe, just like my boy Paul well, they've Walker. They've got that big, right? long, extra back yeah. end on them. It's because when I'm banging gears, right, right. in a Honda. Yeah, you I'm, need to have your foot planted, not yeah. elevated. They have I'm, long overhangs. They have horrible mm-hmm. approach yeah. and departure angles. Yeah, so yeah. Approach I'm banging gears. I'm chasing a Rogers truck, right? I have two other Honda Civics. It's midnight. We're running under glow. Yeah. We're trying to get to the, all these electronics, right? 100%. Yeah. I yeah. Combo, combo VHS DVD players. Yeah, combo yeah. VHS DVD v, v, yeah, that's TV exactly players. It. Yeah. So yeah. I'm driving, right? And I feel like there's too much cushion for the clutch pushing. Right. And so mm-hmm. when I notice that, I think to myself, I need something with a flatter bottom a flatter yeah. base you need a it. better to approach uh, pr- uh, departure angle yeah and so that's where just a traditional vans classic is my preferred driving shoe because it's flat and or converse high tops right mm-hmm. when i'm rocking my converse high tops, well, that's why right, paul walker wore them it i i feel like paul walker yeah. when i got he did a lot of action on. sequences in yeah. chucks hmm. yeah it, well because you need to because that's the thing when you're doing when you're doing that heel to toe shifting right yeah. Yeah. or you need to have or that you're really close running from the rock or you're running from the rock you or the car just has through. a small pedal box. I mean, yeah. yeah, if you're dealing with that, then... So the Yeezys, for example, I think they're great for, I think, style-wise. I still think they look awesome. I think that they fit with so many different outfits, and I think that they are comfortable. Yeah. But I think, believe, functionally, there's better shoes out there. Yeah. Yeah. Functions versus this stuff. But, I mean, if you got those as a gift, and whether they're <clears> real or whether they're fake, I mean, that's still a decent monk chunk of change that you just got as a gift. So They're a shoe. Wear them be, as a shoe. Be grateful, Joey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just, uh, yeah. There you go. My guy Kirby saying sadness and just boring. Only the 98 alloy oyster black and ghost 15 for my narrow foot. Ugh, you guys get all the fun colors. That alloy oyster black is actually a pretty cool color. It's not too bad. But you're right. Sadness and boring. I understand. You want the fun ones. Yeah. Um, what do we got here? Alex says, one-fifth of Levi's closet consists of Kirkland signature sweaters to attract compliments of today's youth. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a good one. Uh, Joey says, happy medium must be a child's brush. <laughs> yes. He knows what's up. Yep. Take, take uh, the Elmo's on yeah. <laughs> uh, And... Uh, Joey says, I just got me a new Sonicare 6100 oh, in nice. Na- Navi Blue. Very right. nice. Fazal, I got some Skechers slip-ons the other week. Now thinking I should have given those Brooks a try. Saw my father-in-law wearing a pair, and they did look comfy. Fazal, enjoy the Skechers. You know what? Yeah. Skechers have yeah. come a very they long have way. Long ways. And do you remember Skechers back in the day? Oh, when I was a kid, Skechers were like... 
<laughs> so Skechers <laughs> came out, and people were like, Skechers, awesome. The branding mm-hmm. was and neat. Then, and then it was like, oh, you were, you were on Skechers. <laughs> and then it was yeah. like that for many years, and now Skechers are yeah. like, oh, hey, you got Skechers on. Nice. When yeah. I was a kid, though, it was L.A. Lights, man. L.A. Gear? L.A. Gear. L.A. Lights had the lights in say. them, Dane. Yeah, I'm talking about the ones with the lights. Okay. I believe L.A. Yeah. Gear had the lights in them. Yeah, but the, they called the L.A. Gear L.A. When you Gear, walk into, like, strobe do you guys have the, ever have the shoes that were had like that weird kind of like colors on it that when they get hot or cold they yeah would they did the temp change that was no. a popular thing in the nineties for stuff no yeah. I had the Reebok pump when it first came oh, out oh the pump okay did that was pumps? The, that was the best I I mowed so many damn lawns with, <laughs> to get those pumps yeah. and then my parents had to field <laughs> all these phone calls from other angry parents going. Why did you buy your son a pair of shoes? It was over a hundred dollars. Oh like, my god! What kind of people are you? Yeah. And they were like, "He mowed lawns for that. We didn't buy it for him. He mowed all the lawns to <laughs> it's get what that. he wanted." Yeah, dude, I mowed like twelve lawns for those oh, shoes. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> there are some cool ones out there. We have uh, Peter Brookins says Anthony loves detail care just as dental much. care loves de- dental care just <laughs> as much as he's he played this. What the heck am I Just as here? much as he played in the second season of I Know What You Do When You What You Did Young. There oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Anthony loves dental care just as much as he is looking forward to that second season <clears throat> of I Know What You Did That's last summer. Peter, they need to make it, man. <laughs> like, it, they, it, they canceled the show, so that'll never happen. But <sighs> I weirdly liked that, that new I Know What You Did Last Summer show. Mm-hmm. I, it feels like you something want. you would watch. It does. It was just, it was, I look at it and I go, this is what Gen Z is all about right here. Yep. You know, <laughs> partying on the island of Hawaii. And people, you clearly forgot it's all Outer Banks now. And people are going missing. I haven't watched Outer Banks. I haven't either. I just know they use Alt-J for the theme song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Larry Singleton uh, yeah. says that issue with the <clears throat> hard bristle toothbrushes, they can cut through your enamel. Just ask me how I know, right? It's just like cutting through a ceramic coating with a wool pad. You know, you're going to break through that, and uh, you could burn through paint, clear coat at any time. Well, you just want to use one of, another excuse to have more gold teeth. <laughs> it's true. I have three of He's them. He's just waiting for the next one. To, all right. I do have three, and I am waiting for a fourth and a fifth, possibly a sixth gold tooth. Ooh. I cannot wait. I'm yeah. actually very excited for that day when it comes. Yes. I do have a possibility where I'm going to need to do a crown replacement. And I'm already planning on it being gold. Mm. My guy Kirby says, Anthony, the water pick is nice. Try to keep your mouth closed, LOL, or just use the FTW afterwards. Mm. I know. I think it's a matter of me going, ah, trying to, like, get in there it's so just I can see what I'm doing. Gross right? stuff everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, the other thing, too, water picks, I don't know how much those have advanced in the last 10, 15 years, mm. but I think the last time I had one was... 15 years ago. Pretty sure yeah. you can buy one from Costco when right off the shelf. It was just, the, you know, there was this little tub thing of water. You put water in it, you put yeah. the cap on, you run the little hose, and you change the tip to, we had like, for my family, we had our You had a family tip? Tip, tip. tip well, we had oh. tip, tip one colors, tip shared right? amongst all the No, family. like, like <laughs> the germs mix. My, my dad oh. was the reds, my mom was the yellow, then mine yeah. was the blue, and my sister's the green. So we just changed the, fam- the, to the family. Everybody tip. had their own tips, yeah. Yeah, so you just change the tip out and you just use that to water. Pick. And your brother was SOL. Yeah, but it was funny because well, my brother, when he'd use it, it was just, I think it was only four, but just the distance. You could yeah. shoot with a water pick. That was. That's what he used gotcha. it for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Magic Berry Soil. Ooh. <laughs> Formerly wow. Chernobyl Dirt Sales they says, change their name for hello the again, since. comrades. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello, Hello thanks. again, comrades. Um, I'm going to need to place an order soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my guy Kirby saying, I really enjoyed the video of John and the Razor. I wish I had one and a place to go with it. Mm. Envious. Yeah, yeah that was a fun time. They enjoyed nice. that. Yeah. Franco says, I have Adam's graphene spray coating on the girlfriend's <laughs> Civic MIS-10, Fuso on my Ranger, Diamond Body 36 on the Ford Escape. I like using the Adam's graphite, graphene detail spray on the first two. Would it be okay on the Diamond Body 36? Sure. Have sure. fun with it, man. Enjoy. <laughs> Leprechaun Levi saying, there I be again, me commercial. Me commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so good. Again. So good. So funny, man. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my god. Or does dive, does DB36 stand alone with a regular wash? It stands alone with a regular wash, but if you want to use something on it, go for it. It's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> TPD Details CR. Why do you think US brands like Meguiar's and Lake Country get their content 
from the UK mostly. I thought LC was an EU brand till yesterday. They're in the Midwest. No. Man. So, yeah, the Lake Country has been based in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin mm-hmm. uh, for like 120 years. The yeah, company's very old. Yeah. Um, they started using, they originally made cups and made felt in cups for dice. Yeah. Yeah, it's good shake up the dice, roll the <clears> dice. <throat> That's what their original job was. And then wool. Um, for that as well. So that's that's where they started developing. But they just launched their new UK headquarters at uh, Kelly Harris's place. Yeah, and Kelly so Harris is a big reason. Now why there's, there's a all that UK now stuff. there's a Lake Country UK uh, actual her- uh, headquarters there, which is super cool. We're super super proud of them to have that. Yeah. Um, McGuire's has always been a world brand. Um, their content, uh, it just depends on who's doing the content. Kelly yeah. has a crew that's doing a lot of the content. They used to do a lot of content when David uh, Patterson was uh, with the company uh, in the U.S., but because David's no longer with the brand... Um, that production moved The production has kind of changed or it's been slowed down a little bit where uh, UK has really taken it up a notch and really pushed it. Plus, Kelly is their technical director now. And that's kind of the reason. So you got the guy who's yeah. kind of in charge of that stuff now developing the content for that. It's where the influence um, comes and from. And Meguiar's does the same thing. There's a company in the UK that handles uh, Meguiar's and Europe does one as well. And they do a great job with it. Um, so, yeah, that's why. It just depends on where they build the content, yeah. supposedly. Um, Glossy Bear, what's everybody working on today? I got a 2005 STI in <clears> for <throat> paint correction, engine bay detail, and legend ceramic coating. Very nice. nice. What color is it? All right, then I got JD here. All right, here are some thoughts to hurt your brain. When you clean a vacuum cleaner, does that make you a vacuum cleaner? Yes. Yes, yes. it does. And yes, it does. <laughs> I've got Franco, and I use the Addis Detail Spray as a, after a wash, not a waterless. There you go. Okay. That's fine. Then I got Glossy Bear again. Any other tint adventures planned, Levi? I'm super interested in learning tint. Man, Glossy Bear, have I got a deal for you? Yeah. We got our friends, Avery Dennison. Oh, wow. Hosting a tent class. What? In May. <clears throat> what? Mid May here at That's the Rag sick. Company. Wow. Where you're not only going to get to learn how to tent from Harold, the trainer. Yep. But you're going to get to be here at the Rag Company doing that for yeah. three days. Hmm. And it's going to be super fun. And guess what? We're going to tent my Suburban. Ooh. You are. Yeah. We're going to strip all the tint off, the it old needs tint. New tint. Yeah. We're going to put all new tint on. It's going to be sweet. And uh, you can go to Avery Dennison or Avery Dennison uh, graphics, but you can Google Avery Dennison training classes, tint training classes, and it'll give you the date of where it is, when it's happening in your area. But the Boise date is there. And I believe it is May. Let me just double check here for you guys. It's going to be a good show. I'm excited for it. I believe it is uh, – gosh, where is it at here? I thought I had it in here. I think it's May 10th through the 12th, yeah. something like that. Hmm. Um, we're really excited to have them. It's going to be a good time uh, having those guys <clears throat> here and doing that. But I'm going to double check for you just to make sure you guys want yeah, to do the next sure. two here. <clears throat> Ooh, I like this one for J.D. If you cook bacon and you bake cookies – then why is bacon called bacon and cookies called cookies? Well, that's a that's good a question. That's a great question. Mm-hmm. Love those little, you know, thought experiments. But yeah. uh, you're right. You're right. I mean, because the cookies are pastry adjacent. Um, uh, Express yeah. Cafe. <laughs> oh, my Cafe. God. We just go straight to the Express Cafe. Thanks for the shout out, boys. Oh Dane, God. we miss you. Oh Today's my. special. Just grab the actual. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> dude, it's so that's the real sign. Funny, man. It's so funny. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> we think the show. We miss you, Danny. <laughs> Danny, you have to go back. I have to go back. Uh, Joey Valencia says, Franco, I have so many darn bottles that I need to burn through. I use it all over the house, LOL. I mean, yeah, that's what it comes down to. LHF Detail right. says, how does Absolute compare to O&R <clears throat> as a drying aid on a coated vehicle? Okay, first um, the dates and then kay. we'll answer this. Here okay. we go. So I literally just searched Avery Dennison tent classes. Popped up. The class is a two-day class, mm-hmm. $695. Okay. Okay. Beginner, no experience required. Included in each training, every attendee will receive their own application tools and a free 25-foot roll 
of nano ceramic automotive window film. Wow. Lunch will be provided for both days, and a certificate of completion will, will be sent following the class. Uh, class is being held here May 10th and 11th at the Rag Company. It's still open to register. You just go to the website, click on that. Holy set, and you can and what's the website one more time? Uh, graphics.averydenison.com. So okay. you're telling me you pay 695 bucks, Levi, and you're basically getting a $500 roll of tint for free? Pretty much. And all the tools to do it and learn how to do it. So you and can make free some lunch. money. And free lunch. And where is it going to be at? Which building? Here in the studio. So you also get to be around you get to be, us? You get to be around us hanging out, learning how to tint. We might pop you in and You get to like use the it. same bathrooms that we use every day. That's uh, fun. I, it could be. <laughs> I'm actually super excited about it. Like, I am fascinated by tinting. You know me. I've started my own amateur tint studio in uh, the MOSHQ. I was going to say, how's it going? And I've tinted the red truck. It looked like it, yeah. I did that. (laughs) Uh, I need to remove tint on the new car. What I'm hearing is he needs this class. And I got eight windows that need to be tinted on the Suburban. Yep. And uh, next weekend, I'm actually going to remove the tint from the passenger window because it's already peeling again. Oh, it did it on its own. Yeah. Yeah. It's peeling. The old tint is peeling. So I need to clean all that tint off, okay. and then I need to lay a new piece of tint, mm-hmm. just a temporary piece, sure. until I can retint the rest of the okay. truck. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing that next weekend. Sure. Just okay. crazy. All yeah. right. All right. So how's it compare? It's great, man. It's Absolutely, great. as a drying aid, feels awesome. It's even, I'd argue to say, a little bit slicker than O&R in terms of being at that clay or that quick detailer dilution, but it's all preference and see what you like. Uh, next here we have... Bonnie. Bonnie! Says, hey. what are you most excited for with TRCMA? Mm. Honestly, everybody <clears throat> coming. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing that we love is we having, love our friends. having folks here, having everybody here, getting to see everybody. Um, I'm most excited just to have the people that I actually care about here hanging out with us. Yeah. I think that's the yeah. most fun. Agree. I agree. Then we got Joey simply saying, LHF detailing, it's slick as heck. Yeah. Franco, Joey, oh, I feel for you. Personally love it. It does great on sink faucets. And then Mm. saying, using it on a glass coffee table to make things slide all over the place. (laughs) Then Franco, I'm in West Texas, and we get a lot of wind. And that spray doesn't hold dust as much as others I've used. Hmm. It may be the anti-static, but in my area, it seems to be. And then uh, Stacey Davis, can I use Kosh Chemi Quick and Shine to remove pollen dust? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can. Yeah. Fred says, you guys should check out WeatherTech's headquarters when you're at Chicago Auto Pros next month. It is incredible. I, he says it's that. only five minutes from the base. That's very close. Yeah, then yeah, <clears throat> absolutely I'll do that. Mm-hmm. I see no reason why I wouldn't do that. I would like to go there, and I would like to say, hey, do you guys know who I am? And they're going to say, no idea. I go, I'm Anthony from the Rag Company, and uh, I'm a floor mat Ex- enthusiast e- enthusiast and mm-hmm. dedicate and, and will brush not will brush uh, <laughs> uh, 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 why can't I think of the dang name right now um, <laughs> what drill brush drill brush enthusiast. <laughs> yeah we both had a Jeez, bit of a stroke there brain fart yeah so I would just tell them that we, we don't know who you are but can you you're kind of freaking us out and I'm well like, All I right. mean when I get there all I have to tell them is I literally just like last week I bought Floor mats for all three rows of the Ford Flex and for the Jag F Type. You yeah. did Formal not. Did I you did. buy Weather Techs? Yes. And they'll be arriving in Dang. just a day or two. How much was that? I was like, I got, together was I like got Huskies bucks. for the new car okay. and reused the old Weather Techs from the old car. Did you cut, <laughs> cut nice. to fit Dude, I'm running, I'm running the same Weather Techs that I had in my minivan, the first hey, minivan. Hey, they hold up. Really? Yeah. I'm going a decade on these Weather I even Techs. Got, I even got Well, because the... I don't do the molded i do the old school heavy oh, yeah. black yeah. rubber heavy. yeah mm-hmm. and so you can just drape them wherever they need but they'll hold up to a gallon of water almost yeah. i mean that's good i i got the like laser cut like fit one i but i got coaster I, holders since too. i drive cars from the 18th century mm-hmm. um i, I don't really know they're that old but <laughs> old hondas I, I just well, buy the like, 20th century. I, I buy the cut to fits okay so i just i put them in there yeah. and i go cut here cut here but they might be but Still yeah. Every okay. car before, that's what I did. This time, though, I felt like, okay, better do the special thing. I can't and believe I they had them for that. your car, though. They did, for the Flex and the F-Type. That's crazy. Yeah. No, it's great. That's good. That's cool. Anyways, moving on. Franco, what do we got? Talking yeah. about kids, okay. ninja movies. I remember Warriors of Virtue with the <laughs> kangaroos instead of Ninja Turtles. Kangaroos. Uh, wow. that, that, that one. That, that's probably like one of those obscure ones, man. I. Why do I feel like it re- rings a bell, but I have no idea? 
Christine with Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> Did I just hear the theme for TR SEMA 2024? Oh, I vote no. Dane to rock the Daisy Dukes. <laughs> I'm old thunder thighs here. If I'm wearing those, it would be pretty nice. Just, I would, look, it's it would a look pretty lot. good. I would cry I too I because I'm the one wearing them. In tears. Can you imagine we you know, cut them off and just walking in? Hey guys. Uh, guys no, I, <laughs> just be like, I no, I'd literally be in tears. I'd be on the floor. Uh, rumor, rumor has it that TMT's favorite pizza is, in fact, from Chicago Connection, just, just cheese, <laughs> deep dish goodness. Alex, you better watch yourself. I might take you there and get you pure, just a cheese pizza. Cheese. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Ron says that would require a 1,000 likes, 1,000-plus likes. Oh, boy. Um, and then Grant, Levi, what's the latest on the detail circuit regarding people moving around like Mike Phillips at Auto Forge, et cetera, because mm. I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing. <laughs> Mike basically sounds like he went back home. Yeah. You know, Bob McKee owns uh, McKee's 37 as well as part of the Auto Forge group. And uh, when he sold Auto Geek, you know, Mike stayed and then Mike left when he went to go work at 3D, but 3D just got purchased. And so um, I think he's just going, you know what? I think I just want to go back with my guys. Well, Auto Forge is like their forum, right? That's like their setup. Yeah. And Mike was like the voice. He was the guy Auto in the Geek Auto Geek online forum. forums. He did yep. all the write ups and stuff. So I think he's just going back to his roots. It's like a return to form kind yeah. of. Yeah. Alex says, I prefer tearaway pants with buttons along the sides for immediate <laughs> removal in hot situations. <clears throat> yeah, I was never a big fan <clears throat> of the buttons because I felt like I could step on them. And I don't like stepping on things. Mm. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Then we got Antoine that says, Jordan 4s all day. You like your Jordans, um, all right? Okay. Joey also said he likes Jordans, though. Yeah. And I wish I could, I wish I could pull off a pair of Jordans. I just don't. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can, man. I feel like I would not. Uh, I would look like an imposter trying to wear those. And you know, then, my favorite detail in shoes in the summer are Crocs. I know you do. Look, I, I used also, to wear those. I also all like Crocs. When I love washing here. a car in Crocs. Well, you put them in four by four mode, right? Yeah. You go, you know, get them ready for you towing. Just dry your feet off when you're done. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Uh, Joey says Converse are the best for driving. You really feel those pedals. Mm. I agreed, 100. Mm-hmm. percent Best driving shoe. I want to try some Pelotes. I really do. See what those are like. Mm. Gary says, uh, Gary from Long Island Detail Supply saying, Snibs is my hey. current favorite detailing shoes. Totally waterproof. Snibs. That's so a, I don't, I don't know of any of other shoe that's like waterproof that people love for detailing. And I, it's, I like, it's like a non-existent category. It's like a non-existent category. So if only there was a company out there that were to make a good looking, comfortable shoe. Key, that was keyword good looking. I was going to say, yeah. if you say good looking, that immediately eliminates all the ones yeah, so trying it right now. They got to be good yeah. looking. Can't look so. like weird grandpa you know, space shoes. like orthopedic yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want, or they I, make it, or they fall apart where you got to use super glue to keep them back together yeah yeah or they make a so weird which, squeaky noise. Just, they look like new balances but with velcro yeah <laughs> it eliminates yeah. brands that specifically start with a v and end yeah. with an se yeah yeah i agree yeah. uh in focus <laughs> photography says another nice day and the o and r uh to o and r the beater honda fit doing my buddy's black 992 911 career Ooh. for this weekend nice oh, very so, nice enjoy it Honda Fits are great little cars. Christine <clears> says, <throat> Joey, Converse shoes are the best for everything. Yeah. And Joey says, you're 100% right. <laughs> uh, Vasilis says, on the second application of 36, do you level the coating the same time frame as the first application allows? Yeah, you do. Yeah, same. Uh, Don B says, Lake Country is based in o- Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Not sure if you were running with the pronunciation. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great weekend. Yeah, thanks, Don. Now, I was just saying, uh, Oknamonamok, because it that's how it's spelled. Oknamonamok. Yes. Oknamonamok. Grant says, Dale and the boys do a great job at McGuire's UK. Yep. Yep. They're good guys. We got to talk to them at Waxstock. Yeah. Joe, I went the all-day Anthony route and picked up some overpriced OEM mats. I really shouldn't take advice from that dude. He'll, he'll, he'll steer you wrong if you're not careful. He ta- that guy it's called talks, a grain of salt. That guy talks people into a lot of things, a lot of things. that are really unnecessary. Sometimes he calls people and get, tricks them or sends them a text, tricks them into buying food stuffs. Yeah, right? I mean, it's intentionally buying more expensive mats that aren't – any better than what you can get for like a quarter of the price elsewhere. They aren't. But I it's know. because it has the name and it's made by the company, supposedly, that it adds value to the car. And that's what it feels it's like. A, it's maybe it's value. a sense of purity. Mm. Yeah, but you know, it's yeah. not pure as when you spill on those versus like a good, you know, I can see that. I can see that. Weatherproof Dane, mat or something. Who's, what's the kind of person that spills on a mat? 
Oh, it's not me. A person that spills on a mat. A person that spills on a mat is probably someone that's also doing some dunking and driving. Dunking yeah. and driving. I it's just want to spill. I want to put this in the ether so that one day it does happen. If you're to a dunking you and driver, and you you're gonna sp- you're gonna spill on your mat because you didn't respect it at yeah. the time. Okay, thanks, Dave. <laughs> My dribble on the mat. <laughs> Kirby says I agree with Fred Shemrovich about the uh, weather tech. Try at least to walk into the storefront. They have lots for the dog owner that I have oh. not seen. And then totally uh, Hayden says. Mike belongs with Auto Geek, Robert. <clears throat> also, weather techs are definitely <laughs> worth the Max <clears throat> Max Spider. Oh, worth it. Try to the Max Spider, and they were just okay. I've seen those. Yeah, uh, they look similar, but so uh, they don't. What's hold up crazy as well. is weather tech man. That brand blew up significantly in the last I ten mean, years. In the last ten years, it was crazy. Who? Max? We- weather tech. Oh weather yeah, tech. yeah. I mean, good for them. I mean, they they blew up significantly, but yeah, I would I definitely go check out their showroom. Uh, or 100 percent. Like if yeah. me and Dane and Jimmy are around that area, or if we have a rental car, we'll take a quick zip over there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Joey Belinsky says you got to pin roll your pants to pull off them Jordans. Well, and then uh, Dan Pfeiffer says uh, he's a Jordan enthusiast. Four, fives, sixes, and thirteens are his faves. Just a few. Very nice. Fred Shamrovich saying, Kirby, their car collection is probably the most insane one on the planet. They have the most expensive car ever bought at auction for like $78 million. Woof. Wow. Dane knows what kind of car that is. It's a Jag XJ475. Mm-hmm. Well, which collection are you talking about? Oh, the WeatherTech? <laughs> what? Making up a car <laughs> that you like. No, like a, like a Jag XKSS or something like that would yeah. be up there. But Daytona Wall is saying, <clears throat> Dane, I got a couple pair of Pilates. I definitely recommend... Oh, yeah, Pilates. Uh, Hayden says, look at Adidas NMD V1s. They're great. All right. Thanks, man. Hayden's rocking the SHO. Look at that. And then Gary, oh, snibs aren't (laughs) good looking at all. They look like water shoes. See, that's the thing is all the waterproof shoes just look kind of. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Joey says he's going to bite his tongue. uh, (laughs) Ron says some things you have to take with a grain of salt. Others you need a whole salt lick. Ah. And then uh, Joey says sometimes he'll call you in the middle of the night because he has <laughs> he needs additional information on a Mac Studio purchase. Oh, yeah, dear. Uh-huh. yeah. And now we are caught up. Hayden's loving that Duncan, Duncan and driving. and driving, man. It's a <laughs> uh, real deal thing. Yeah. So, so um, on are, that note. Yeah, we are pretty caught up at this point in time. Yeah. Um, so, again, if you guys haven't already set a reminder for TRCMA and your phone, uh, Levi, can you remind Siri for them? Uh, Siri. Please set a reminder for TRCMA, April 3rd through the 6th. Back to TRCMA is happening. Featuring some of your favorite brands. Such as? Here we, we're gonna oh, are we again. doing this? Come on. Uh, I was going to make it all. Say, so, <laughs> so here's what we're doing. Siri, set a reminder for April 3rd to the 6th to tune in to TRCMA. Hey, Alexa. Set a reminder. I'm hearing myself over there. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> I feel the power. I feel it's the like, power of Then you throw this in. I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's disappearing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I feel the power of Fanon. He's just disappearing from all the pictures in Back to the Future. Hey, this is what's happening. Okay, so this is obviously the second half where things get loopy. We're wrapping up uh, the show a little My home is asking today. who's speaking. <laughs> uh. So anything (laughs) anything Um, left we'd like to touch on before. So yeah, uh, biggest thing is obviously (laughs) get ready for TRCMA this this uh, first week of April, and then of course tonight party can keep going. You can tune in and head on over to the Detailer Chick uh, YouTube channel five o'clock Mountain Standard Time seven o'clock. Uh, You're going right after. I'm going yeah. right after. Uh, we're going to be uh, live with uh, Ivan Lacroix. Nice special guest. I'm very excited. For Come that. check it out. Come watch. I might have to chime in and say what's going on. Yeah, I'm so. going to be. Uh, I'm going to be actually in here because since we're going live right at five, I'll be in here doing the show. Yeah. All right, live at five. So, so uh, uh, Gary, I don't actually dislike Vessies. I just like giving people crap about them because I keep getting them forced down my throat. Yeah, they, he, he's really? going the anti-hype so, route because some people are hyping them way too much and it annoys The him. reason is because Gabe and Josh Brodel mm-hmm. each wear them. Yeah, and they, and they, they literally, sh- they, they take them off. Them. <laughs> well, they take them off and they literally like, make us smell them. Yeah. Oh. They go, like, so They'll take funny. them off their feet. So and like, Josh Brodel went and stepped in like a puddle yesterday. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you're going to get your feet all wet. Your and socks he, are going to get wet. And he took off his shoe and he goes, Fil- touch my feet, Anthony. 
feel them. I'm like, I'm not your touching foot's your, wet from your like, sweat. I don't want to touch your feet. And he goes, just touch them. And I'm like, I'm not touching your feet, you weirdo. Yeah. So it just it, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. So don't listen to Anthony. Vests are a game changer. I'm sure they probably are. Oh, a leprechaun Levi says, I'll be back, my boys. Luck of the Irish to ya. <laughs> well, hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he doesn't get caught in one of my kids' leprechaun traps. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> that would not be good. Leprechaun Levi, what that'd are be, you doing here? That'd be like, a weird conversation. Augie would to have. scream, and then I feel like there'd be some form of torture. Oh, yeah. that would happen. Do you know like, my real dad? Well, no, I'd be like, uh, dude, you captured like the version of me, and he'd be like, uh huh, yeah, I'm gonna put him in this cage. And uh, as he starts sharpening his blade, yeah, right. I'm gonna poke him a couple times, see if this works. (laughs) Yeah. All right. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Yeah, we're gonna be in this just a little early. So please, Dane, take us home. I really love it. So that's what happens sometimes, guys. If you don't have the questions, we end a little early, but that's all right. We appreciate you all who did show up. Thank you so much, and it's been a good time. We appreciate you, and we hope that tomorrow you have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day. Uh, <laughs> Harry, don't do that. <laughs> what? Don't dump a bottle of Shine All and run through it. No. That oh. is a recipe for disaster. Oh, no, <laughs> no, don't do not do that. So on that note, stay safe out there. You know, o- oh, only Brodo drink got the in things you're supposed to drink. End <laughs> oh, no. <And> this. End <laughs> this show. End you know, this wait, show wait, now. I have to throw out here that obviously if you're not subscribed to the Rag Company as well as the Rag Company podcast YouTube channels and the Rag Company FAQ channel, Channel, please do so. Click that bell so you get notified every time we go live here at the Rag Company so you don't miss a thing. <laughs> Obviously, this is wrapping up our week, but we will have new videos coming out in yep. the next few days as well as another podcast waiting for you on Tuesday next week right here at this channel. So before you go, hit that like button and we'll see you next week. Adios. See ya.